family what is going on today it is a thursday which honestly i kind of like thursdays i'm kind of down for the thursdays the thirsty thursdays so they say now i will say today is a exciting day because we got a lot of stuff still going on but a quick update about the internet very possible we will continue to lag tonight just because you know it is what it is but i did purchase some new internet so i did a lot of research the options were what i currently have is rcn xfinity and also verizon so i was looking at xfinity to verizon mostly and i ended up going with verizon so variety so xfinity was able to get a person here by thursday which is today so i could have got it today if i went xfinity but Fios, the person can only come out earliest time is Tuesday of this coming week. So, Tuesday, I will be getting Fiber. I'll be getting Verizon Fios, and that'll be, that'll be pretty good. Now, I was thinking Xfinity, but the plans were basically about the same. So, I got the Gigabyte. Or I was going to get a Gigabyte from both companies. I think Xfinity was going to cost me like 85 and Verizon is going to cost me about 90 But, Verizon... Verizon Fios was the only fiber option, so unfortunately Xfinity did not have fiber in my area. So I went with Verizon Fios just because I thought it was going to be better, same price and probably better, so I went with Fios. But we won't be getting it till Tuesday, so hopefully we don't lag too, too much. Uh, hey, what's up, Christian? Yes, so Christian, I did get the Zell. The thing with Zell sometimes is Zell, not always, but sometimes Zell orders will really, really lag, like, behind heavily, and I don't actually have Zell, like, opened up because not many people use it, but I do have a $150 credit for you, Christian. If you have something in mind you want to use it on tonight, you can let me know, and I'll try to pop you in real quick in the queue if you'd like. But in the building tonight, we've got Nar. He says, easy, coming in at number one. We got Koki Hathim. Corgi, Eric, Gabe, Antonio, Peter, Dominic, Dmac, Nicholas in the house. We got Adam and Andrew. Nice pull in the boa last night. Dude, bro. Whew. It was about time. We finally got the MOA. It only took us a hundred and I think it was four boxes. I think we did the math. I think it was a hundred and four. I might even be wrong on that. But it was almost 2,500 packs. It took us, and then Mo finally pulled it last night, the Mango Boa, which I guess is like going for more than $2,000, pretty crazy, but we finally, finally did it. Oh yeah, and as a result, I told people yesterday that I'll open up a fresh case and mix it in, so that I also gotta do. So I think we had like four boxes left from the last case, but as promised, because a Mango was pulled, I will open up a fresh case, mix it in. Uh, that way, you know, there still is a chance you pull a mango. And, and honestly, with the amount of boxes that we've opened just to pull one, we're still low-key kind of due for a second, if you ask me. But who knows? But I will open up a fresh case and kind of mix them into the shelf. Uh, you know, maybe I'll just let people pick right or left, and I'll grab one from the new case, one from the shelf. That might actually, yeah, that might be the move. That actually might be the move. But anyways, new case of OPO7 opened up. That way, there's still a possibility at a mango. Still a possibility to mango. Hey, Trevor, what's up? I like the video when I fix my internet. Well, hopefully by at least Tuesday, we'll be golden. So hopefully by Tuesday at the very latest, we'll be like absolutely golden. We'll have Fios and everything. Luckily, though, I know the lag will suck. If it, I don't know if it's going to continue lagging tonight. Hopefully it doesn't. But if it does, at least it's not like terrible. You know, it's like a 5, 10 second load. So hopefully not too, too bad. But for the gauntlets tonight, our brand new big slab is the PSA 10 Hollow Steelix from Aquapolis. Aquapolis. So that is this list right here. We've got a gauntlet going on for a guaranteed heavy fossil. So I don't like how the camera's pretty like narrow. Fix it up a little bit. So that is for the Heavy Fossil. And then the last one, of course, is for a spot in our box break, which is Neo Revelation. And we are currently at eight. Eight packs sold in the box break. So we're kind of getting there. It's a really expensive set, so I get it. But we're getting there slowly and slowly and slowly. And eventually, we'll be opening up that puppy. For the slab bags, we have quite a few already bought from last stream. 
two, four, six, eight. Yep, so we got eight of the $150 slab bags left. What are we talking for the 1v1 reprints? What's up, Colt? Um, I actually have a website that I've debuted. There's a link for it at the top of the thing. It says Q. I'll bring you to the actual main website. And there you can see the pre-orders for 151 Japanese. They don't ship till the end of the month. It's 130 or 125 if you buy a whole case. And you can use code free ship to get free shipping on your order too if you want to get a pre-order in for the new Japanese reprint. Hasim is starting us off tonight. He says four rebirth, Azure Lane, and six Pixar. So many spots. Yeah, the, the Steelix is a really expensive card. That is a PSA 10 from Aquapolis. And Aquapolis packs themselves are probably already pushing a thousand bucks. So it's pretty nice. Two. Four, or I should say, at least it's a pretty nice slab. Fios is probably the best, except Google Fiber. You know, I didn't even look to see about Google Fiber. I didn't even check that place or check that even out. But I know um, I got one of my cousins that lives near me in the area. He has Verizon. He told me that it's like awesome. That he never has any issues. So we'll see. But I do have a uh, technician coming out tomorrow for my current internet service provider, and I'll see if they can fix it. That way, at least, if they do fix it, we'll have a good internet until we do get Fios in on Tuesday. Also, Temporal Forces is finally back. Feels like it took a long time, but they're back and they're $4 a pack for the Temporal Forces. Can I please get a Boundaries Cross pack when you get a chance? Yeah, yeah, Christian, sure thing, man. Sure thing. So let me just take a look. We've got... I think like four people in the queue, so we'll put you right after Ryan H. So Christian, we'll do you right after Ryan H. Hey, sorry, guys, got a Japanese one. Yo, Andrew, I saw that, man. Yeah, thanks so much for picking up a box. Uh, I will say I was surprised at like how popular it was. We actually sold quite a couple boxes of uh, 151 for the pre-order. So I talked with my Japanese guy. He said that he could only get me five cases. So I put them all on the website. We'll see. Any, of course, that don't sell, I'll just be having normally but i did put all five cases up on the website when i was younger and sold cable internet fios was always the number one choice for the east coast people yeah i mean it just seemed better i mean price wise data wise too it was so much better because for about the same price xfinity was going to give me no fiber and one no oh, and we got a Pixar Rare. So yeah, they were going to give me a thousand megabytes or one gig. And... Uh, Verizon, and it was so 1,000 download and 20 upload, I think. So only 20 upload. So on the other hand, Verizon was giving me like a thousand down and I think it was like 80 upload. So something pretty crazy high for uploads. I was like, dude, this is like, that's a big ass number. <laughs> 20 to 800 for the same price. So yeah, it was a no brainer. The only downside though with going for Verizon with me is they can't get here till Tuesday. Xfinity would have got here today. They would have came in and put the line in today. And Soul. Royalty, glad you're live. Hey, what's up, Mutt? Sucker, should I rip my Celebrations UPC just cause? Dude, you know, I will say this, Vision, the Charizard Metal UPC promo actually goes for like good money. So if you open it and grade your Charizard and it grades like a 10, then you're chilling just on that card alone. So I feel like the UPCs are not too bad. They, you know, they are pretty expensive if you're just looking for the Selly packs, but I feel like it's not bad. Especially because you get the promos, the two golds, the other gold cards. So it's actually pretty nice. What's up, Mike? I'm new. Hey, well, Mike, Mike, nice to meet you, man. Uh, everything is actually down below in the description. The menu is down there. You can send an order through PayPal, Venmo, Cash App. And just let me know in your note uh, what you're ordering. That's about it. Put you in line, too. All right, so I forgot to uh, put my phone on Do Not Disturb. So let me do that real quick so I'm not getting notifications directly on my phone. That's the camera. There we go. How many more packs of Star Wars? What's up, John? I actually just got in a re uh, restock for Star Wars, so I got fresh boxes. So there's 18 per box, and if you buy one, I'll crack a fresh box for you. Nick H is in the building. He says, let me get five temporal. Nick H. 
That's fiber. Yeah, so that sounds really good. Now, I'll be honest. I'm not super uh, tech savvy with the whole like upload download. But if I'm not mistaken, I think streaming requires upload, right? Live streaming is uploading, right? Most companies offer higher uploads to the business interpack. Well, I didn't actually go for the internet business package because I did research on that and it was more expensive to get that with less data. So it was lower, it was actually slower speeds and it was more expensive too. I think the only thing is with the business package, if I'm not mistaken, was like you get like 24 seven, like customer service, like quick, quick fixes if your you know internet goes down, I think. So I didn't end up going with the business package. Yeah, dude, almost two grand for the 10 metal Zard. Yeah. So, I mean, that's like, that's a lot. You know, that is a lot. So. Yo, I saw the mo was pulled. Yes, dude. Nick, it took us so long, dude. It was a, it was a, it was a long battle. It was a hard, hard battle too. But I will say that, you know, the metal Charizard from the UPCs, they usually have like issues, so you know, don't necessarily think you're gonna get a 10, but even like a nine is pretty doable for those. And I think even the nine still go for a couple hundred bucks. So, you know, the UPC is not terrible. If you end up grading the card and it grades well, you can do pretty good. It's 2,500 for the Apopolis, the Lugia, and a PSA nine. Really, for the Crystal Lugia? Hey, Rob, what's up, brother? How you doing today, man? Dun Dun Sparse. Oh, Nick. <laughs> All right. Temporal Forces, brand new. And we get the sausages. The beautiful, beautiful sausages. Yeah, I think there's Evolving Skies in there too, man. Yeah, I think Evolving Skies is in there too for sure, actually. Actually, you know, I don't know. I know the Charizard UPC has Evolving Skies. I don't actually remember for the Cellies. I feel like it does, but I can't actually remember. I have a couple um, celebration UPCs too, actually. Ooh, TF battle tonight. Yeah, yeah, we could do. Uh, yeah, we definitely could. Yeah, we definitely could. The Charger UPC has like three. Yeah, so that's really nice, especially with. The, and that's the really nice thing about those big, bigger products that come in multiple, multiple sets is you don't really have to worry or not worry but it's a better chance that your product does well because you're diversifying right so if evolving skies goes up now the product itself inherently goes up because it's got three packs in it so if the packs went up like five bucks while well, your product just went up by 15 bucks and you know you got like lost storage in there and stuff like that so if any of these sets do well a couple of them do well it just increases the value of the product because in the future especially people are going to break it maybe just for those packs specifically already lagging we just started and we're already lagging very very nice uh but anyways all we missed right there was it was our homie gabe and gabe wanted spot 13 on the heavy fossil so gabe we just got you that uh 13 on the heavy fossil at least it's not terrible and like i said it is gonna be getting fixed ryan h says let me get two spots on the heavy fossil ryan i'll put you on 11 and 12. What's up, David? That was that was an early lag. <laughs> that was definitely an early lag. Yo, what's up, Trumpet? Yeah, I know already. I know. Alex B says two random spots on the Neo Rev and two spots on Steelix. Alex. All right, Alex. Get you on number nine, and then I'll put you down here on fifteen as well, so you get a little spread out. And then Steelix, I'll put you on ten. And 36, which is actually one of my favorite numbers. But most gauntlets we do don't actually go up to that that many numbers, so don't get a chance to put it up many times. Do you buy steel stuff from your viewers? I have a steel case, 144 steam seeds, sleeve packs. I'm looking to sell. Yeah, actually, I do all the time. Uh, if you want anything, if you want me to potentially buy your stuff, I would say just send me a message. Instagram, Discord, best way to do it for sure. Hector! Yo, Hector, what's up? He's already lagging, dude. I know. <laughs> I know. It's getting bad, man. 
It is getting bad. But like I said, we have plans to get it fixed. So those are already in motion here. Oh my god, speaking of Hector, Hector's going deep. He says 19 on Steelix. Six and 18 for the Heavy Fossil and a Tops Series 1. Damn, Hector, it's early to be going this deep. But also, if you guys did not know, today is Thursday. We have to do our members giveaway for last month because we're a little bit late on it. So today, we're going to be picking one lucky member to win a EX Emerald pack out of the stacker. I'll just let you choose uh, one of the I think there's six packs in there. So I'll let the winner of the members giveaway choose one of those. So if you've already not signed up for it and you are a member, make sure you guys go to the community page and sign up because we're picking that winner today. Okay, but Hector, dude, we've been pulling a lot of Charizards recently. So, can we do it again? Can we do it again? Hector! I can't remember if the hollows are on the front or the back. But I guess either either, either way, we're going to have to kind of look from the front anyways. Okay, nice. It is in the back. So we got Kakuna. Kakuna Matata. Sandshrew. Parasect, Needle Kick, Jesse. Yo, dude, Chip. Yo, thanks for the 15 months, homie. Chip, thanks a lot, dude. That's a long time, actually. And oh, okay, not bad, actually. I kind of dig that. We got a Hollow Psyduck. Psyduck. I actually got a uh, PSA bulk submission back in today, but it, honestly, nothing really super of value in there, to be honest. So nothing like super crazy cool. Got a couple lamina card stuff back, though. Gary. Is it just me or in what world is Steelix worth that much? It's a PSA 10 from Aquapolis jumping. So the Aquapolis set is, you know, pretty expensive. So it makes sense the hollows would go for that much, too. At least I think. And I don't know, is Steelix, what do you guys think? Is Steelix popular or not popular? I feel like I like Steelix. It's not a Mewtwo, you know, but it's pretty cool. Kakuna. I had 1k subs my channel today. Yo, nice! Well, dude, congratulations. It gets easier. You know, once you kind of get over that, once you kind of get over that initial hump, I feel like it gets easier too. So congrats on that, man. Hector. Sorry, you have to your website. I did. I, it, it's not perfect, but it looks a lot better. So the website looks a lot, lot better uh, than it was before. So that I'm happy about. The really crappy part about the website uh, that I'm using, which is WordPress, the builder, is that if I if I want to like change it up a lot and change it to a whole new theme, I basically got to start from square one again. So I'm probably gonna stick with that theme and try to like over you know over the course of the next couple weeks like make small little edits here make it look cleaner i know on the phone right now it looks terrible so it looks all right on desktop but i know right now particularly on the mobile phone it looks terrific we says tempura shrimp forces battle <laughs> he says if we don't get a battle going tonight i'll just take a neo spot okay we sounds good so if anyone is down to do a battle tonight, I'll, I'll say let's try to go for a double box battle. Because, you know, it's Temporal Forces, you might not even get one SIR in a box. So double box battle would be dope. It's only 24 bucks, and we need 12 players for that. But Hui is in. And if anyone wants to sign up, it is $24. Doll hairs. Hui. Who's the owner? That's Hector. Yeah, Jen, that's Hector Psyduck. Hathim! It says, let me get six. The Denji Bunko. Yo, what's up, Chemical? And, uh, not, not, not too long, Chemical. I feel like I saw you like last month <laughs> for your monthly checkup. Yo, there he is. Chemical with the 34 months. Dude, Chemical, I appreciate that, man. That is not a, you know, that we were saying that 15 is a long time, but dude, 35, 34 is crazy. Still got to get it. Still got to get on that, uh, Making the new upgraded crowns for the longer milestones, too. There's so many things to do, man. Damn. 
Are ordering from the site now? Uh, no. The website right now, Jennifer, is simply just for seal product. Also, it's only in the U.S. too. So unless you have a U.S. address, I don't believe you're able to even check out with my website just yet. Like I said, it's it's a long thing to make, especially the way that I'm going about it. I'm doing it all myself. No help, no hiring, no nothing. Um, so it's taking me some time, but I, you know, piecemeal by piecemeal, I'm getting it to work, and maybe eventually we'll switch over to it completely. But for the time being, for sure. Same old, same old, but I will be putting some sealed stuff that won't be open on stream to ship sealed on the website. So right now on the website, I think there's a couple slabs and mostly just the 151 Japanese reprint booster boxes, which is a pre-order. And those also will be getting shipped out sealed too. I like the site on mobile, it's just a little jumbled. Yeah, right, exactly. So if you like load the home page, uh, the border like doesn't quite match up, but I know how to fix it, so I just gotta do that when I get some time. I was focusing mostly on the uh, computer version of it. Hutsum. Let's fill the, damn, Hui with 29. Yeah, I've known Hui for a really long time too. We got some, we got some people that have been OGs. Some really, really deep OGs too. So yeah, just a cool thing. I mean, honestly, I don't really know how much the 151 reprint will impact the price on the market. I imagine they'll go down temporarily for like at least a week or two, but I'm sure I'm sure given, you know, like the set that it is, it is probably gonna rebound like extremely fast. Alright, so Adam is up next. Speaking of Adam, come over the month. He says TF Battle. And then Christian, I completely forgot about you, but I just remembered. And if you're ready, Christian, let's grab you a Boundaries Crossed. Let me know if you're still here. And Boundaries Crossed, we haven't really seen too much, too much crazy stuff from it. So hopefully pretty soon we get something nice. No more eBay fees. I didn't really sell on eBay that much to begin with. Uh, maybe like here or there I get a sale on eBay randomly, but honestly, it's maybe like once a week. <laughs> once a week I get a random eBay thing. And sometimes it's even like for things that I listed like years ago back when I was flipping stuff. Uh, yard sales and like garage sales stuff. Hey, Austin, what's up, dude? Okay, so Christian may not be here, and if that's the case, then Christian, we'll just keep it a credit until you're here to see it. And honestly, if it's for a boundaries crossed, we could just let you get it whenever you're here. Like, like basically cut the line, kind of, because it's not like anyone, unless someone orders it, I guess. Oh, wait, he says he is here. Okay, so I guess we'll just start off on this side, Christian. We got two, four, six, eight, nine. I'll grab one more, make it ten. Oh, he says pack eight. Okay, so two, four, six, seven. And this would be eight. And then, of course, Christian, let me know. Would you like me to weigh it? Open it? Because I think we have, like, we have very little data for the weight so far. Do you ever go for zero watchers to a sale? Or is there usually interest for a sale happens? Um, it depends what kind of item it is. I feel like usually what people will do on eBay especially is they will watch your item that way because a lot of people do this on eBay. You can send offers to interested people. So like let's say you know there's a pack for 150. You want it, but you're like, maybe I get a little bit cheaper. You might watch it and then you know, maybe like a week later or whatever, if it doesn't sell, they send out like a coupon, like, hey, here's fifteen dollars off, and then they snag it at that point. So watching stuff's actually like really popular, especially because you can get Basically, almost discounts if people can't sell stuff. Okay, and Christian says, let's wait. Dylan says, let's get a weight pack. Well, let's also uh, pull out our little handy-dandy spreadsheet here. Maj and we got a couple of Majestic Dawn entries. Dragon's Exalted. There it is. Boundaries cross. We got three data points. Okay. And 1960, which I feel like is similar to the weight you got last time. 1960. So, I guess I would assume another light, unfortunately. But, like I said, I guess you never really know. 
Our hollow rare have came out of a 20.01 and a 1977. And then a non hollow rare in 69, and that was even lighter. Yep, so Boundaries Cross has the Skyla and Bianca, and I think also a really expensive Keldeo in the set too, I think. Sealed for now. Okay, Christian, you got it. So, Sagar, if I order 151 from site, does that mean you ship it to me? Yeah, uh, if you get a 151 from the website, it is not open live. That is a pre-order to be shipped when it comes in at the end of this month. So, my Japanese guy allocated me five cases for the reprint. That's all he could get me. And I posted four of them on the website. One of them I'm saving because I think Mike wants to buy one. So, whatever sells on the website, great. It's a decent price. And then when I get them in and anything I didn't sell, I'll just kind of have for inventory. But I was only able to get five from my main guy, unfortunately. All right. So, Christian says, let's keep it sealed. But yeah, to answer your question, it will be going out to you sealed when it arrives at the... I think he said it's going to be coming out at April 20th. So basically like end of the month. And if you do go use the website to pre-order the 151 sealed, uh, use the code free ship, no spaces, and you get free shipping on your first order too if you haven't ordered before from the site. Let's rip the other V. Wow. Okay, Christian. You never know what to expect. You never know what to expect with Christian, I'll say that much. Okay, so I just made a new bag, so we'll put the... The Venusaur one in there. Alright, Christian, are you positive that you want to open this? Could we have it open live if we wanted to instead of shipped? Or no, yeah, just simply to be ship sealed. Yeah, there's not too much margin on it, I'm just kind of offering it because... On the odd chance that my Japanese guy does have more available, then maybe I could just pick some more up. So I'm just pretty much, you know, I added a little percentage for me and just kind of put it up there. If people want it, great. Hopefully get some good pricing on some 151 reprint stuff. But other than that, no opening. Because that just takes, the, the thing with opening is it takes a long time, right? So you might spend, you know, 20 minutes or so opening a box and you got to ship it on top of that. So the, the time factor is what really kills it as far as it being a really good price. He says, let's get an Umbi. Lots of older packs today. The Christian's been going crazy. Nick G went crazy too for the Dark Explorers. How come I can't see the queue? Uh, the queue will work. You just got to click it. That brings you to the website now. And then on the top bar, there's a queue section. So click the website. Uh, I don't know if people are going to enjoy that or not. I just kind of did it now because we have the website. So might as well host it there. Uh, if you go to the website, the queue is in one of the top bars. You just click it. Then I'll bring you to the queue basically through the website. All right, Christian. I can't help it. All right, what's up, funny? They're 150 for the boundaries. Dark Explorers is sold out. All right, baby, come on. Show me some evolutions and maybe a surprise hollow here, too. Oh, there we go. Vaporeon, Twist Mountain, Minin, and an Eevee, Scraggy, Shelmet, Timber, Tynamo, and a non hollow rare. That is going to be Sawana, the Black Swan. Alright, so we kind of had an inkling that that ended up being a non hollow rare in that pack so we were really just gunning for the commons and i think we did okay we got eevee and vaporeon now obviously umbreon's my favorite too but we'll settle for vaporeon and dude christian thanks for letting us open that pack up for you man okay and we also got to the boundaries cross so let's get rid of that credit So yeah, if that navigation to the website to get to the queue becomes uh, annoying, I could always just post the, ba the link back directly there again. But I thought it'd be a nice idea. That way people can also kind of get, not a custom, but kind of also see the website too. Because I put a lot of time into making it. I know it doesn't look very great, but it takes a lot of time to kind of learn the ins and outs and how to even make it in the first place. Gabe H says, let me get a spot in the Steelix. Yay. 
All right, Gabe, we'll put you on number 20. Is ordering for stream still the same? Yep, it is. The website is only just for sealed product to be shipped to you sealed. Yeah. So the website is not currently for any live rips, just all uh, to be shipped sealed for products to ship sealed. Jeff says one random spot on Steelix, one random spot on the Fusil. Jeff. All right, Jeff, we'll put you on nine. And on 14. Awesome. Jeff, thanks for signing up. Two gauntlets. Hey, Grizzy, what's up? Hey, won't we buy two boxes of 151 like I can't add to my cart? Um, you know, Joey, that is not supposed to be the case. You should be able to get as many as you'd like as long as there's still supply. One thing I will say is I think what I... Because what I did at first is I had a... Only, like, loose boxes up. And then I realized if someone wants to buy a whole case of it, I should be giving them a discounted price per... You know, cheaper price per box. So I ended up making a second listing for the thing. And I think I might have slightly messed it up. But honestly, I know, I know how to use this pretty well now. So let me just double check. Oh, here we go. Okay. So I just fixed it. You should now be able to check out with more than one box. And if it's your first time ordering as well, make sure you use the code free ship. No spaces to get free shipping in the US as well. But I think it should be fixed now. I think it should. Antonio says two spots on the heavy fossil and a top series one. Antonio. Okay, so he says seven and nine. Antonio, you got it. And a top series one. We're named royalty for a reason. Yeah, did you like that? I came up with, I came up with that real quick. Yeah, I came up with that real quick. Also, yo, Nelson. You, Nelson, just bought a booster box for the pre-order off the website. Nelson, shout out to you, man. Thanks for grabbing a 151 box. Antonio. Oh, oh my god, no way. <laughs> All right, Antonio. I may have spoiled the surprise, but you might have not caught it. You might not have caught it, but now I am excited. Zubat. Poliwag. Poliwhirl. Oh my god, okay. Bulbasaur. Raticate. Spiro. And that is what I saw, a hollow Bulbasaur. Very, very nice. Check Discord when you get a chance. Bulbasaur. Who's the people in the About Us part of the site? Uh, yeah, so for the WordPress, I just used a site builder. So honestly, don't... It's, it's just kind of like, uh, what's the word? Generic text from the example site that I used. What's up, funny? Uh, all the prices are down below in the description. So if you take a look in the description, there's a menu. Just go to the vintage section and you'll see all the stuff we got. So, yeah, I saw that too, dude. Yeah, I saw that too. <laughs> like I said, thank you guys, by the way, for pointing out the flaws because that makes it easy for me to fix. But just forgive me for that. I know, I know it's still a little rough. <clears throat> but you know, we like it rough a little bit, right? Sometimes. Antonio. Yo, Justin P. Welcome to the night tier as a member. Justin P. Dude, thanks so much for all the support. And by the way, Justin, if you order something on stream now, you get free shipping in the U.S. as a night tier. So thanks so much, man. And then we got Joseph with the 13. Dude, Joseph, thanks so much, bro. Thanks so much for that as well. All right, Grizz, what did you send me? Oh, okay. Yo, Grizz, thanks for the heads up. Let me mark that as unread so I remember to look at that. Thanks for the heads up, Grizz. I just saw that too. Thank you. Uh, yes, I did get in some new boxes of, uh, what's it called? Uh, Star Wars Chrome. So same price, same good price, and they're back in stock. Some fresh boxes tonight, too. 
Eric S is five. OP07. Eric S. And also, shout out to Eric. I saw Eric picked up a pre-order box earlier today, too. Oh, from Canada? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, the Canada shipping usually is like 20 USD. So if I did free shipping for everyone in Canada and other countries, it'd be terrible for me. So I can't do that. If you were in the US, though, it would definitely qualify. So, Eric says, 5 OP07, just the old darts and secret arts, and that kind of thing. No rares or leaders. Wow. Eric, are you sure, man? So, you just want what Mo basically gets. The SR is enough. Mo was a trendsetter. Oh, it ends tonight? Oh, damn. Okay, I'll try. I'll find some time to take a look at that real quick. Nar says, Knights unite! Sanji. So there, we actually got an SR, not a regular rare. Yeah, I can totally understand too, because after a while, you know, you get, you basically have all the cards, right? So it's like, I can understand not needing, you know, 10 copies of every card. And the Dawn card that I also recommend you keep, because these are nice to have, even if you get dupes. I've been watching the three, dude, it's nice, right? I, I enjoyed it. I watched that whole series in like two days. I finished three body problems so quick. And then Brian was telling me about apparently, I think one of the lead executives from that show like committed murder, dude. He poisoned somebody. Crazy stuff. So I don't know if it was the guy, I, cause I know, I know somebody wrote the books first and they got adapted into the show. So I don't know, I didn't really look too much into it, but someone, someone committed murder over there. I don't know who it was. Hector says top series one is Zard me. How many of these tops do I got left? Two, four, six. I got eight tops left in stock. Oh my god. All right, heck. Well, let me know if you want to pick your number. We got only eight left for the tops. I'm trying to get through it. I got bored watching it. It moves slow at first, so maybe it picks up. Yeah, I mean, the whole, the whole, like, beginning part of it is kind of, like, not even, it's, like, completely different storyline, basically. It's about, like, murder and stuff, and then later on in the show, it be, it's not even about the murder anymore. It's about something completely different. I enjoyed it, though. I did enjoy it. And from people that, like, I think my, my girlfriend, like, reads a lot of books, a lot of her friends read books, and she told me that, like, all of her, like, book club, you know, people, like, really, really love that series. Hector says number six. Okay, so I'm assuming Hollow's in the back. We need another Zard, baby. We've been pulling a lot of Zards, though. We pulled a couple Hollows, a ton of non hollow Zards, two out of the set. Parasect. Psyduck. Golem. Jesse, Gary Oak, Ash, and oh, we got Primeape. Primeape. Do you know anything about the Demon Slayer X Pokemon cards? Saw them on TikTok the other day. They're they're probably unlicensed. Yeah, I'd assume they're probably unlicensed. Uh, I don't know. I mean, that seems like a pretty weird mashup. So I'd assume they're probably unlicensed. Watches, you know, when you said that, Brian, I wasn't sure if you meant, like, that's the name of whatever that is. It's called Dark Materials. I thought When you said that, I thought you maybe meant, like, watches darker stuff. Golem. One hundred percent fake? No, you're fake. <laughs> yeah, it's probably fake. I mean, Demon Slayer has quite a couple sets now. They have, like, the stained glass ones. Union Arena picked them up. And I think there's one more, like, official licensed product for it, too, out there. I can't remember the name, though. The brand name. Hector. Nah, Pokemon did a poke. Wait, really? An actual licensed collab? That would be dope. I am actually... A I'm not a huge Demon Slayer fan, but I liked it. Demon Slayer was a good, good anime.
Benjamin T says steroid gauntlet. <laughs> so I can only imagine that means Steelix. Steroid gauntlet. Awesome. Okay, so Ben, you're going to be going on Steelix. I'll put you on 35. And I assume the Steelix, let me know if it's not. And then Heavy Fossil will put you on number 8. Ben, thanks for signing up. Who won the giveaway? We haven't picked the giveaway winner yet. Uh, one lucky member tonight is going to get picked to win the monthly member giveaway for March. And we're going to pick that at night, probably like about an hour or so. So if you haven't signed up already and you're a member, go to my community tab on the YouTube page. I might be the second post now. Find the link to the Google Forms that says talking about the giveaway, sign up for, and you have a chance to win. You don't have to be present to win. You just got to make sure you sign up via the form. Yo, Koki! Dude, Koki! Bro, thanks for picking up a 151 reprint box off the website. Koki! Bro, thanks for that. William says, one more try, two vintage singles. Oh, I forgot about these. <laughs> Yo, I completely forgot about these. How could I forget? How could I forget? Who won the Venusaur Gauntlet? Uh, let's take a look at our... It was Coley Moly. Venusaur was won by Coley Moly. How did you the 1v1? What's up, Johnny? Uh, I got a website linked down below in the description. It's actually the first link. It says Q. You click on that link, it'll bring you to my website. And also, if you do check out, decide to buy one or a couple, or whatever, make sure you use the code, the coupon code, free ship, no spaces, to get free shipping on your order as well. But it's the top link in the description. Okay, so, like I said, I won't be showing uh, what's left in the box, but we will do, like, a small-esque shuffle here just to kind of make it, you know, more random and so, so forth. But if anyone does want to see the initial loadout for this, I do have the Google form or the Google Docs made with all the stuff. That's crazy, man. I didn't know Demon Slayer did a Pokemon collab. That's dope. Demon Slayer was I really like Demon Slayer. That episode where Ren Goku is about to meet his demise, I almost cried. I was like, oh my god. All right, so we'll grab you the front one. If I grab multiple, I always give you the front one. And front one there again. Okay, so double Japanese. But, Will, I know you like Mew, so maybe we get you a Mew out of those. Show us that hog. And... Oh, that's actually really dope. That is Dark Crobat from Neo Destiny Japanese. Bill. Bill, thanks for having some vintage hollows tonight. And let's get your bag out of the no ship zone. How much shipping costs in America? $5. So uh, $5 flat shipping, which is really, really nice. And international is usually about 20 USD. Could be more if your bag is like really, really heavy, but most people get away with the $20 shipping. Kevin H is in the building. Says, let me get a spot on all three gauntlets. Okay, Kevin. That is going to be eight for Steelix. 15 for the heavy fossil. As you can see, I'm like avoiding the top numbers. And 10 for the Neo Rev. Sheesh, dude, Kevin, thanks for having a spot in all three, man. Good luck. Heavy Fossil is getting a lot of love right now. It's more than halfway full. Holy buggets. Now, keep in mind, that is a guaranteed hollow in there. If it does not have a hollow, you get a $450 store credit. Alejandro says Neo and Steelix. Damn, the gauntlets are going crazy right now. Alejandro, thanks for signing up. You're on 11 here for the Neo. And we'll do 18 for Steelix. Thanks for the sub. Pokemon says there are three volumes of licensed car boxes and figures. Car boxes? You mean like, like, like Hot Wheels? Danny G says one e hero, one Star Wars Chrome. Oh, okay, let's get you a fresh box. We do have a open hero box, but let's get you a fresh box of the Star Wars. It's Japanese. It's Japanese, Trev. Uh, it's $25 for a spot.
The F is up with your channel. Whose channel? The guy in a C channel? I sent you a video of a few of the cards uh, if you want to see on Discord. Let me take a look real quick. I am curious, especially if these are really licensed. Okay, I feel like these are definitely not licensed. No way these are licensed. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me show you guys this. I mean, they look cool. And honestly, I sell unlicensed stuff. So I have no, you know, I have no issues with unlicensed stuff. But just so you guys can see, let me um, open the link over here. Oh, it downloaded the video. What the hell? Uh, okay. I just downloaded this guy's uh, TikTok thing. No, it's all right. I got it, Sean. It's all right. I got it. Okay, let me just show you guys this real quick. If you want to see it. Let's mute this guy's voice. So yeah, that that definitely reminds me of like the Naruto cards, which also are unlicensed. So I imagine this is probably going to be like an unlicensed product, which, like I said, especially if you just want to collect it because it looks cool and stuff, no problem. I know, Sean gave me a virus. Bro, that's Pyro Infernape. Yo! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Nezuko? Yo, I saw that Nezuko card, man. I saw that. Okay, but... Danny, sorry for the wait there. We got to crack a new box of Star Wars Galaxy for ya. If it's unlicensed... Yeah, I know. Exactly, Abby. If it's going to be unlicensed, it better have the booba for sure. Do you have any old way V-Star boxes? The ones without the pull tabs? I might. I might, Dylan. I know I definitely have a lot of the new ones, but I think if I dig deep down, I might have some of the older ones down in the bottom of the box, or on the shelf, I should say. The Forever People. I think I might. I've seen Pokemon license some really weird stuff, but it really, uh, limited use license i dude i've seen the uh the pokemon collabs with like i think tiffany jewelry company they had one recently too i think danny g it's kind of like the power rangers on this one i like that we do also have a temporal forces battle building up we're going to try to get to 12 players, but it's 24 bucks for the Temporal Forces Battle. And the goal is to do a double box. So 12 players, everyone gets six packs, 24 bucks to enter. If we don't get 12, then we'll just do six. But goal would hopefully be to get 12. Because with Temporal Forces, the nice thing is the singles are going for a lot because they're playable. Uh, but you don't really get an SAR in every box anymore. So, you know, maybe like every one in two boxes. So if we do a double box battle, that is going to really up our chances of at least getting one SIR for the winner, hopefully. Hey, Cruel, what's up, dude? Now, we do also have the Royal Slab Bags in stock tonight as well. They're 150 each for the Royal Slab Bags. Also, yo, dude, Joe, picking up two of the boxes. Dude, Joe, I just saw your order, man. Joe, thanks so much, dude. Pick out some of the reprint 151. Thank you, Joe. My value sub was delivered to BGS 20 days. So I'm assuming value is one of the more expensive BGS subs, right? Not like bulk, obviously. Daddy. So I did, uh, check this out. Not, like, super exciting, but I did get a couple cards back. Let's see. Where I put them? Is 
Dude, this sub took me forever though. Took me forever. Because I had I had a bunch of these lamina cards in there, which are pretty cool. So I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen these before, but I like I like to tout about it because I'm actually the person that like got PSA to grade these. I emailed them, I was like, hey, I see you guys grade the WWE lamina cards, why not the Pokemon ones? And then boom, they started grading it. So back when I graded these, they were old, basically pop one, because I was the only person that had them. But now when I check eBay, there's a ton of these. So I guess people catching on to the lamina cards pretty quickly. But uh, PSA 10s, not very easy to get. I only have three 10s. The rest were 9s and 8s. So really, really tough to grade these. And I think these cards are made of acetate, I think. And of course, this one came with a scratch right from today's sub. It had a scratch on it already. Obvious PSA quality control for sure. It's 24 USD for the Temporal Forces battle. Squirtle. That Squirtle one's pretty dope. That's a 9 too. Poliwhirl, Bonita, Machoke, Slowpoke, Vaporeon, Zapdos, and Alagoza. So these were the Lamna cards, some that I already had, some that came back today too. But not easy to get 10s on those. Definitely not easy to get 10s on those. And here were some of like the regular stuff that I sent in there too. So I bought this one off of Mo. Pixar. I think this was a gift, I think. I think Mo might have gifted this to me. So I think that might have been a gift from Mo. I got a couple of these damaged uh, vintage Japanese cards that I bought in a collection like years ago. Spanish Mewtwo. The unknown stuff from the binders. Ah, uh, yeah, Nathan. Right now, the website is only uh, for US. But I will try to... The thing is, is because with the shipping, I got to like conf configure the shipping differently because international is going to be more. So I just got to figure that out. But if you really want some of the reprint stuff made, then you can just let me know and we could just, you know, do a transaction off the website and then, you know, pay for shipping whenever we, it comes in or something. This is really cool, man. That is a staff team up Jirachi promo. I have no idea what these are going for, but that's probably like a pretty good one. Team up staff. Thousand Dragon. We got some cards from the Tops 3 set. From way, way back when. I opened up a couple to like test if they were sticky or not. And they actually graded pretty well, even though they were pretty sticky. They graded okay. Look at this! Look at this! A PSA 1 completely like water damaged. Articuno EX. And then of course, gotta have the Vaporeon damage from Delta Species. <laughs> Why'd I grade these? Uh, just cuz. People, people do like PSA 1. People do like the PSA 1. Some more of these. These come from the Neo 2 Premium File Bot. Dude, I can't get a 10 on that Umbreon for my life. An 8 on this one? Jesus. Gold Star Umbi, that's from the 25th anniversary. Who spent the money on that for the uh, for the PSA ones? I did. Yeah, I had those cards. I used to buy collections. Nowadays, when I buy collections, I usually just look for sealed and slabs. I don't really buy a lot of loose cards anymore. But back in the day, I used to buy a lot of just raw cards all the time. So I have like, or I had a lot of stuff. Not as much as I used to, but I used to have a lot of stuff just sitting there. Like of various conditions, and sometimes when a card is rare enough, cool enough, it's still worth it to send in for 15 bucks, you know? The, these kind of suck. I got nines on all of them, I think. Yeah. Eight on them is Drevious. Now, this doesn't pack fresh or anything, but still. And then a one marked on the Charizard level X. It's got a huge crease. And on the back, some some kid probably wrote an N on it. So, yeah. But there was my small little return that I got back. And now PSA has a $14 a card submission thing going on. Jack, this one took a long time because I had the Lambda cards. Those take, for, those take longer. 
the lamina cards just make the sub take so much longer i think because they gotta spend you know or they gotta they gotta slab those ones kind of specially i guess eric s4 op07 all right valid I'm very interested in the Todd's Bulbasaur and Venusaur. Uh, yeah, sure thing. I didn't have time to price them, yet, Nathan, but I'll probably do that pretty soon. It, yeah, could it be a Z? Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, PSA 1 is... Dude, PSA 1 is pretty much better than, like, PSA, like, 2 to 5. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, quick, quick tip. If you have a card that's, like, a PSA 3... Just go run over with your tire. Make it a one. Because ones actually fetch a decent... I've learned that. I don't know if you guys remember, but I had that collection. When I went to card party, I bought this, like, damaged stack of cards from a house fire. And those sold really well. Like, people were going crazy for those. So, yeah, there's definitely an untapped market for PSA 1s out there, believe it or not. Erica. What's up, Nick? Haven't done it yet. We're going to probably do it in about like an hour. Probably like a two-ish hour mark. That way, as people come in, I can continue to remind them that today is the last day to sign up for it. So we'll probably do it in like an hour or two. Cheese says one spot in Steelix. One spot in Heavy Facel. All right, Chee, you're going to be on number 11 for the Steelix. And we'll do 16 for you for the Heavy Fossil. Damn. If anybody wants to sign up for Heavy Fossil Gauntlet, there are six spots left. That is pretty nice. And, you know, one thing that I thought is... We could let the winner choose. Because I have Heavy Fossils, Heavy Jungles. They're the same price. So I guess what I could say is, if you win this, I don't mind. If you want to switch it to Jungle Heavy, because you like the set more, sure. We can do a Heavy Jungle instead if you guys want. So the winner of that can get a Fossil or a Jungle. They're the same price, so I don't mind if you want to pick or choose whichever one you like. Justin says sign me up for the temporal forces battle yo Linda what's up one is better than ten yes it is unlimited it is unlimited it could be yeah Grizz it could be I can't say for certain but I guess the probability is always there right Oh my god! Saunder! Saunder just pre-ordered a whole case of 151 for the reprint. Saunder, you filthy animal. So Saunder, thanks for picking up a whole case, man. When I get those in and ship them, I will make sure that it's double boxed. Alright, so that way I won't stick a label right on the case. I'll double box it. And stick the label on the second box. That way when you get it, the box should be, you know, minty. Minty with no, like, labels or sticky stuff on it. Antonio says, let's battle. It's time to do 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 Damn, I think I got one case left on the website now. Sheesh. So for those who have been to the website, give me your honest opinions. What do you guys think? Looks good, looks bad, ugly, better things we could do. What do you guys think? Bill says spot 17 for the heavy fall. Damn, this is going to go pretty soon. We're going to deal. Yeah, so the lucky thing about it is what I'm basically doing is I'm just trying to tack you guys on to my, my order. So I'm not really marking it up super high, honestly, especially after the 3% PayPal fees. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. It's there for people that want it, and people that don't want it, well, I gotta pick it up. <laughs> but at least that way, you know, I can tack you guys on and get you guys some good pricing on it. Hui says, F it, let me get a fossil spot. Alright, Hui, you are on five. Hui. Kevin H says, let me get five of the fighter's ambition. Kevin. I am ambitious. Okay, cool, Kevin. Let's get you a fresh box as well there. Got the double Gohan packs. Mm -hmm. 
It's way better than my website because I don't have one. The tin packs are trash. You guys caught the Lost Origin battle last stream? That holds value? Well, so, Grizz, I'll tell you this. I have probably like two cases worth of 151 that I paid probably double. Actually, yeah, I think some of them I paid more than double what I'm able to get them now for the reprint. So I'm, in the, I'm, I'm probably in a situation worse than most of you guys that might be holding, you know, a couple boxes or a case or something. I got two cases pretty much. And uh, I'm going to be honest, I'm like pretty positive that 151 will completely get absorbed by the market. It is a, too, it is a way too good set to not just be bought out like immediately. So I wouldn't worry too much. I would say if you miss your chance to get 151 to hold on, if you want to, you know, not financial advice, if you want to, that's your goal. Now's the best time to pick it up, right? It's a reprint. And for those who already have it, just wait a month, all right? They're gonna be backed over $200 in probably a month. <laughs> I'm, I'm like not gonna guarantee it, but you know, at least probably backed over 150, which I think is where they're at right now on eBay. So I wouldn't worry too much for a set like that. Now, if it was a set like Astral Radiance that got reprinted, okay, then you should worry because that set doesn't have that much demand, but 151 is hugely in demand. Kevin H with the Piccolo. Kakarot. I like the site so far. Nice. I'm going to hopefully try to make it better. The real problem is, is Pokemon right now is not really in a place where wholesale is really even worth it. Because with the MSRP increase, distributors also charge costing more. And, you know, the boxes don't really have that great value on the secondary market. So hopefully, like, throughout, you know, whenever a nice product comes out, I'm able to get a good deal on it and pass it up as a sealed item. I'll try to do that. But it's tough. Because, like, Temporal Forces, you know, you really just can't can't compete with the big dogs that get them at a little bit more discount because they buy like thousands of cases you know Kevin. justin d two spots on the heavy fossil oh my lord all right justin two spots man good luck yeah this is about to be done you got two spots left Adam M says Fossil Gauntlet. Adam on number two. Yo, thanks, Grizz. Thanks. Yeah, I'm trying. All right, this is full. This is completely full. Holy moly. So Nathan got the last spot. He says $100 for this, the Venusaur. Awesome. So what I'll do, Nathan, is I won't sell that Venusaur or, like, offer it anybody, but I'll make this a credit, okay? So the price of the Venusaur won't change, but I'll make this a credit just for the time being so it fits better in my systems. And whenever you're ready, we'll get you the full value and get you that Venusaur. Then he says a Temporal Forces Battle, a Heavy Pack Gauntlet, and a Random Vintage Hollow. Nathan. All right, so this is full. Let's pick a winner. And I guess now we got to figure out what are we going to do for the next gauntlet? Because we got to put a new one up. That one filled extremely fast. So we got to pick something else. Now, remember, if you win this gauntlet, as we're about to pick the winner right now, you can choose if you want jungle or a fossil. Okay, so that is definitely an option that I just added here. You can keep it fossil if you want, but if you like jungle more, you can switch. And a vintage holo. Front one. Do the dark dude honestly those three pack blisters were kind of nice yeah i'll admit those are pretty nice oh and that's gonna be jump bluff with a nice swirl right there from english neogenesis nathan g john says should do another blister for the next one yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for the next gauntlet, let me know. I could happily make a new one. I'm thinking we could do... You know, I know Sean... Because, Sean, the thing is, you got to remember that the blister, only one person gets the uh, hollow. So, you know, maybe you could buy it for the person or something, but... Oh, what am I doing? Look at that here. Okay, but let us pick the winner. 
for the heavy fossil. Okay, so that's going to be 1 to 15. Nope, sorry, 1 to 18. 16, 17, and 18. There you go. Alrighty, guys. 3, 2, 1. One of the cheaper blisters from the tiny URL. Yeah, we could do any of the blisters. I guess I guess really only cheap ones there would be like the Power Keepers one and the Arceus one and then also maybe the uh, Phantom Forces. Number five. Let's just make sure we're not lagging. Make sure it's... Okay, Kirk, cool. We're not lagging at all. All right. Number five is Hui. No shot. Hui. Nice. All right, so Hui is here. Hui, you let me know. Do you want a heavy fossil or do you want a heavy jungle? And of course, I'd recommend you open it because if you open it and it is a false heavy, then at least you can get your refund or get a new pack in its in its place. But if you keep it sealed, I would, you know, it's probably going to have all in it for sure if you want it sealed. But if you open it live, at least you get that insurance. Jackson's new jungle. Okay, so he does stick with fossil. He's more of a Gengar Dragonite guy, I guess. Which honestly I kind of respect. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Okay. So we I've got nine heavies left. I'll let you choose a number, one to nine for the heavy fossils. What's the deal with the internet? Um, I don't think it's fixed, but I did actually call Verizon Fios. So they're coming in on Tuesday to put in a new uh, fiber line. So Tuesday, I'll be getting new internet regardless. Uh, but I feel like we only really lagged maybe once so far tonight. So not to jinx it, you know, knock on wood. Five hits, a number five. Oh, okay. So one, two, three, four, and that's going to be Zipdos. All righty. And we did say we can open it. Let's go, baby. Here's the tamper sticker just for the archives here. Alrighty, chat. We should be seeing a hollow out of here. What do you guys think? Now, obviously, Gengar, Dragonite are the ones to pull. Gengar, Dragonite. Honestly, I would be happy to see Lapras, any of the three birds, Articuno specifically. Fossil's not bad, man. There's a lot of nice hollow choices in Fossil. Okay, we here we go, baby. Okay, that opened up really nice. Really, really nice to preserve the pack. Okay, one, two, three, to the front. Okay, starting us off, we got Amastar, Graveler, Magmar, Psyduck, Shelder, Kabuto, Krabby, Slowpoke, Mysterious Fossil, Ammonites, and for the hit. Oh, okay. We got Magneton. Nice. That is a hollow Magneton out of the fossil. Oh, nice. I don't see a single print line. Okay, that is nice. So no print line. That's a great start. Let's see how the back's looking. Pretty good, actually. A little white dot down there. And a little white dot over there, too. Which is pretty common on the Watsy stuff. But overall, pretty nice. I'd say this is definitely going to be like an easy 9 for sure. I don't ever promise 10s to people. Just because, you know, you know how PSA is with the vintage cards. They don't really want to give out the 10s no more. 
Magneton. So, dude, wait, thanks for us open that, man. Congrats on winning the fall. I know Magneton's not like the heavy, heavy, heavy hit we all want, but hey, it's not bad for winning a gauntlet, especially. Hooey. Do another fossil? You guys want to see another one? I mean, as you saw, I have plenty. Also, by the way, all these fossils are from the same box. So if that one looked pretty nice, then hopefully the other ones look pretty nice too, because these should all be from the same box. I guess a common thing nowadays is people will open up a vintage box, they'll sell the heavies at a premium, of course, and then they'll just grade all the lights. So I guess that's becoming more and more prevalent. That's what this guy did. He graded all the lights and sold me the heavies. Hey, cardboard. Okay, cool. So Hui was actually the, or that was the last thing we have in the queue. If anybody does want to do a temporal forces battle for tonight, we're at five. So if anyone wants to make it six, and you guys do, do you guys want to do a single box? We could. I have like a 21.3 fossil pack that I'm afraid to open. I would say that's pretty good. Is, is it unlimited or first edition? I know first edition for fossil actually has quite a few boxes out there with like 21.5 or heavies and like 21.2s are light. But that's mostly for first edition boxes that I've seen in my experience. Cover Herbert likes eggs too. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with a little bit of eggs here and there, right? So if anyone wants to sign up for TF, that is available. And also, let me see what we got for options here. Oh, okay. If it's unlimited, man, I, I would feel pretty I would feel pretty confident that you have a hollow, of course. But I can't promise you nothing, but that's a pretty good weight. And I've got two dark ride blisters. Let's open up this one. It's a little bit more. So we could do that. It's a $600 blister. Or we could do this, which is a $1,000 blister, because it has the EX Power Keepers in there, which have a gold star in it. So if you guys want, we could do another three-pack blister gauntlet. And these are 200 so this would be a lot cheaper. But we have Phantom Forces unweighed on the menu, so honestly, if you want one, I'd say go for that. But we could do either of those. So that would be 1000 that would be 600 So these would be, this one is a lot, lot cheaper, of course. We could do either. What do you guys think? It would be a multiple winner one. So three winners picked, and they all just get a pack out of it. So let, let, me, let me know in the chat what you guys are thinking. If people are leaning one way, we could do that one for sure. Antonio says top series one. Antonio, he's been loving the tops. A lot of people have been loving the tops. We're actually kind of low on these. Can you take the Needle King from Top Series 1 on my bag and give it a cardboard? Yeah, sure thing. Okay, Antonio. Venonet. Nidorino. Okay, but it didn't drop. <laughs> it didn't drop, which is nice. Worst timing ever. Time to go to Fiber. Fiber's coming, man. I, Fiber won't be here till Tuesday, though. So Tuesday is when I'm getting Verizon Fios. So I'll be getting Fiber on Tuesday. I do have a tech coming tomorrow from my actual service provider. Okay, let's let's go in reverse here. Where we lag out on the Sand Slash, I think. Okay, tell you, oh, we're gonna reverse. We're gonna reverse. Back to the reverse. It's like it never happened. We never lagged there. Vetinat, <laughs> Nidorino, Sand Slash. The Arcanine, I'm not sure if you saw that one or not, but the Arcanine was really nice. Arcanine. Misty with the bikini. From Bikini Bottom. Do a quick little rewind there. 
Charmeleon. Oh, a hollow Raichu. And a Pidgey. Raichu. Not bad, actually. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm not happy with the lag, man. Yeah, I'm definitely not. Especially because we just had that, like, week-long internet problems, like, a couple months ago during the Tropical Storm. But anyways, I called them today. They're getting a tech out tomorrow to come take a look at it. If they can fix it, great. I'm still switching to fiber, though. So no matter what, I'm switching my internet over. But if I can get it fixed until, for, you know, until we have the new internet on Tuesday, that will be great. So I'm still getting a tech out tomorrow to come look at it. I told them that I think what happened is, it's probably what happened last time. You know, it's been raining around here, and then that's kind of like when the lag started. So I think there's just like a hole in the wire or something. So I think water is getting into the wire, and it's causing issues. Yeah, so that at least that's the one blessing is that the lag spikes are only like 10 seconds. At least the stream's not dropping. I have to make a part two. I'm sure it will happen tonight, but you know. Stream out phone? No, nah, that shouldn't be the issue. The, the computer is wired in and the phone has nothing to do with the internet. The phone is just a camera, basically. So it's plugged into the computer acting as a camera, basically. When's Nikki come in? Um, I'm not sure. I have to check the tracking number, but I did pick up a case of it. But it probably it's coming from Japan, so it probably won't be here for you know maybe like maybe like next week, hopefully. Antonio. So, what do you guys think? Should we do platinum or platinum Arceus? What do you guys think? Derek said, "Oh, okay. So, D dude, Derek's been going crazy with this." Derek just sent in for a giveaway, a gauntlet spot. And the last dude, I feel like the last two donations from Derek have actually won the gauntlet. It might have been only been one, maybe it was two, but you want to win this. Derek's giveaways for some reason are extremely, extremely lucky. So to sign up for this gauntlet, courtesy of Derek, simply make sure you are one subscriber to the channel. Make sure you've liked the stream tonight. Gotta be... Yeah, that's all. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you've liked. Put a BR in the chat. You just gotta be a subscriber for this one. And you could end up winning the gauntlet if you win this battle. And a bit. Big shout out to Derek. Because he's been doing this like every night now. So shout out to Derek for the donos here, man. Show off the slab bags. Uh, yeah, sure thing. I guys should show them off uh, while you guys are signing up, actually. So I know it's kind of small. I'll try to make it just a little tad bit bigger. Yeah, it's still kind of hard to see. But the, and it's also pinned to the comments too. So these are the $150 slab bags. Inside of here, all 15 slabs you see on the screen are in these bags. We don't open it until it's fully sold out though, so no one knows what's been pulled yet because they're all going to be opened up at the same time. So I think we have 8 left of these, and when they're fully sold out, we'll open them. By signing up for it, you will be getting one of these 15 slabs on the screen. Now the price does go from the top left down to the bottom right, so that Rainbow Charizard is the most expensive, and the Zora Ult Art is the cheapest. It's an Ult Art, it's a PSA 9, but it's like 50 bucks. So it goes from most expensive down to the cheapest. So those are the slab bags for those who might be interested. It's 150 bucks, and you are guaranteed to get one of these 15 slabs from it. Okay, let us pick our winner, courtesy of Derek. Oh yes, Grizz, I'll do that right now, actually. A gauntlet for the slab bags. You know, I think we did that before. I guess we definitely could. Okay, so guys, let me just take a look. So those are... There's eight in there. Yeah, I don't know, though, Grizz. That's kind of... Because that's crazy, though, still. You know what I mean? Like, as far as, like, picking them up for breaks, no way. Because that's, like, a lot per pack. But, like, as far as, like, a sealed thing goes, that's not bad. I just don't think any a lot of people would want to buy it to break it, because that'd be crazy. 
Because I know I can get like the sleeve blisters and be able to sell them for like 16, 17, 18, somewhere in that range. So maybe I'll stick with that. Hey Kurt, they're $150. $150. Not for breaking? Yeah, honestly, because I'm thinking about it. So yeah, I mean, if you guys think we could do a double gauntlet for two slab bags <laughs> instead of the uh, blisters you guys want. Oh, that's going over to the homie Bill. Alrighty, Bill. Very nice. So, Bill, let me ask you this, Bill. Do you want the Steelix or the Neo Rev for the giveaway spot? Would you like Steelix or Neo Rev? The world is your oyster. Bill B. That's not me. <laughs> what's up, Tom? Uh, what's up, Alex? You get an avatar automatically. Yeah, so by default, you get one of the three uh, Charmander, Squirtle, Bulbasaur by default. And then if you want a new avatar, you can spend your crowns for a new avatar. Steelix. All right, Bill, you got it. Bill on the Steelix. All right, cool, Bill. We'll put you on 12. Sweet. Should we try Should we try a new playlist tonight? There is a uh, feature on this um, website that'll, like, play me recommended songs that they think we'll like based on what we listen to. Bill says, I can't resist the tops. Bill. Gang. Okay, Bill, here we go. I go back to back. Play Beyonce's Beyonce's country album since when? Alrighty, Bill, here we go. Tense cruel. Coughing Weezer. Atkins Arbuck. Spiro. Wigglytuff. Zubat. Polywag. And. Oh, a Neato Queen. Neato Queen. So, DMAC, try to remind me because I'm low key kind of forgetting. You said give a Needle King to Cardboard, right? That's what you asked me to do? Needle King to Cardboard? Needle Queen. I go back to back. How's the Sloosh on today? And I'm on a Nipsey Hustle Kick? Nice, dude. I've been listening to like a lot of like electric music recently, a lot of EDM type stuff. I go through phases. Like one one month I'm like, yeah, I just want to listen to rap. One month I'm like, I want to listen to some Linkin Park. Another month I'm like, oh, let's just listen to like techno. I still remember when like Skrillex was so popular, dude. Oh my god. Skrillex at one point like ran the world. Oh, no, I won't go that far, but I remember when Skrillex was big news, dude. Call 911 now. Yeah, dude. I used to really like dubstep, but I feel like now the dubstep's just like too hard for me. Now I like rather listen to like drum and bass, that type of stuff. Joshua says chip plus uh, not chip ship plus one Japanese romance Don one mighty one mighty enemies So wait one romance Don <laughs> Let me just guess right you also have one OPO seven so one OPO seven one OPO five one mighty enemies and one Romance Dawn? Go oh, okay. And Mighty Enemies is this one, right? Dude, Avinci was really nice. R.I.P. Avinci, dude. Yeah, that, that was really sad. R.I.P. Avinci for sure. Oh, 
Okay, awesome, Josh. Sounds good. All right, let's do it. Check out the Jeopardy remix. Who makes it? <laughs> Who makes that? Skrillex was originally the lead singer of an emo band called From First to Last. Actually, really. There's no N in his name. And in whose name? Okay, so Josh, we got you those. Let's grab your bag out of the ship zone. Hey, Casey, what's up, dude? And there we go. Joshua. So I know Twilight Masquerade is the next set coming out, at least for English. And then the Japanese set, I think it's called Mask of Change, is coming out pretty soon, too. You guys excited for those? Mango, 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 mango. Rob Lucci. I caught up with the new One Piece episodes. CPO is making, a, making their debut again. Queen. Yeah, dude, I had a great time in the DR. I guess my only complaint about the DR was it's just way too hot. It is, it was so, and it probably is still really hot over there, man. It was like, you leave your room, you start sweating balls immediately. Joshua with the four Japanese one piece. Not excited as I was for TF. Yeah, you know, TF surprised me. I actually like Loki and really liking TF. So I was happy to be surprised by that. Bill says another tops. Bill, Bill want more top? Damn, bro, I got five left. Sheesh. All right, Bill, do you want to pick number one to five? I feel like we should do the Arceus blister, man. What do you guys think? Or we should do a gauntlet for the slab bags. That way we can try to get those full tonight too. You know, maybe we'll just do a slab bag. That way, those people that bought it already can get it open sooner. Three. Okay, so we're going to go middle one. Hector, Bill is taking our tops. <laughs> Give him top. That's what I'm saying, Ramon. That, that's going to cost you a little extra fee on the side there, man. Uh, no, we opened the fossil. Yeah, we opened up the fossil. It was a Magneton Hollow. Ah, uh, the fossil. Ooh. Okay, this is a pretty nice start. War Turtle. And Squirtle. Kakuna. I feel like we got a Kakuna in every freaking pack. Sandshrew. Vileplume. Mankey. Oh, Alakazam. And... Oh, and a Kadabra. All right, how suitable. Kadabra. What's up, Emperor? There's 40 spots. 40 spots for the Steelix. Alakazam. Used to plug the Lakers back in 09. Just thought you may. Basically started Daddy's Dispensary back in the day. The P. Diddler. The different hollow patterns are for tops. Technically, yes. There are different patterns for different prints. How much does the Temporal Forces Battle cost? And do you take Venmo still? What's up, Gilly? It's 24 bucks. And yes, sir, we still take Venmo. PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, and even Zelle. Squirtle. Yeah, I think it's a good idea, Trev. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. We can definitely do it. 
We'll probably do like a double winner of them. We'll do two two slab bags. That's 300. And that's only gonna, is that only 12 spots? I think so. So that wouldn't be too bad, actually. Let me just double check the math here. So yeah, 150 times 2 divided by 25 is 12 spots. That really is not that big. So that's not bad. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Let's do let's do a uh, double slab bag gauntlet. That way, we, if, when it finishes, we'll get two of them sold too. Okay, hey, yo, dude, Bill, enjoy the movie, bro. Thanks for the horse tonight, Bill. Alrighty, so this is only out of 12. It'll be for two slab bags. So two different winners, you know, two winners picked. Could be the same number as always. And hopefully that one won't take super long. That way, if the person is still here when we pick the winner, they can also select what number they like. Slabby patties. Speaking of slabby patties, I did actually uh, refill the slab hitbox too. So yeah, there's eight of them left and we'll allocate two of them or try to allocate two of them to the, uh, to the gauntlet. Benjamin T says, let me get the TF battle, Benjamin. And a Star Wars Galaxy. Hell yeah, Ben. So now, I guess the question I have for you guys is, do you guys want to just do a six-person single box, or do you guys want to try to get 12 people for a double box? For the people in the battle, what do you guys think? What are you guys feeling? Hey, Jabbar, what's up, man? Come on, baby. Sketch or numbered. Like I said, we just crack a fresh box here. Return of the Jedi. I've been doing more and more research on like topped chrome sets, dude. They got a they got a couple of different Star Wars sets too. Some that go back even more years too. So maybe that'd be a cool thing to do. But I feel like if I was to pick up a, one of those kind of boxes, they are a lot more expensive. Probably do like we did for Disney Chrome at first, where we like sell all the spots, then open it. If we did go down that path. What if I'm not in the battle and want to complain about it anyways? Well, you could. You could just be like, hey, bro, single battle. Hey, yeah, what's up, homie? Benjamin T. And Ben, thanks sign up for the battle. That is putting us at six now. So we do have enough to do a battle, but if you guys want, like I said, want to do double box, you sure can. Hector says top series one and a vintage hollow. Hector, got this one for you. Yes, man, we finally got a boa. Yup, we pulled it from Mo last night, or not last night, but Tuesday. And it took us almost nine and a half cases. I think it was like, let me see, it was nine times. Let me do the math again real quick. So we had five boxes left. So that means he opened up seven. Yep. So nine times 12 plus seven. It took us 115 boxes to finally pull the mango out of the set. It was ridiculous. Alrighty, and then heck, we only got four left. If you want to pick a number one to four, let's see what we got for your hollow. Oh, okay, nice. That is gonna be Lapras from Jap or not Japanese English fossil. Lapras. That is not bad. And when you pulled it, you were so relaxed, not even expecting it. I, dude, I mean, after that many boxes, you know, you got to think. My my confidence in pulling one was shattered. I was a broken man until we pulled it. That's why I'm so energetic today. That that MOA gave me life again. So I did open up a fresh case of OPO7 as well, and I got, I'm going to mix it up with all the stuff on the shelf. So 
If you do pick up both of your seven today, rest assured, I did shuffle in a new, brand new case. I just opened it up tonight. So who knows? Maybe we get another MOA soon. Especially because it took us so long for the first one. You know, Joey, I don't know. I don't know. I, I've never had anybody, like, come in and co concretely confirm the pull rates on those. I've heard people say it's one in five cases. I've heard people say it's one in ten cases. So, you know, those are, like, pretty, pretty far things I've heard through the grapevine. So, I don't actually know in truth what it is. But it took us almost ten cases. Venonet. Yup, Mo got the MOA. Brock, the handsome devil. Star you. And oh, we got a hollow Gary Oak. I sent in TF Battle. Did it go through? First time morning here. Um, Devin. Yes, Devin, if that's you, I'm sure it is based on the last name. Yep, I sure got it, man. Thanks for signing up. No, we have not pulled a chopper. Although I will say that EB01 wasn't super, super popular. Like we opened up a decent bit of it, but not much. We might have only opened up like two cases worth of the set. Like even when EB01 came out, people were still just opening up like OP06. So no mango chopper yet, uh, but I do have still quite a lot of it. So you never know. What's up, Dylan? Hector! So, some of you guys might have seen my post, but we do have 151 Japanese pre-orders for the reprint uh, posted on the website. So, if anyone is interested in picking up some Japanese 151 uh, for the reprint, it'll be shipping later this month. Ship to you sealed. Uh, top link in the description is where you can order those. And if you do, remember to use the code FREESHIP. F-R-E-E-S-H-I-P to get free shipping on your first order. Hector! Also, what time is it? I think we gotta do our members giveaway. Okay, yeah, like... Which, honestly, I think we should just open it. What do you guys think? Should we open up the EX Emerald for the member or no? What do you guys think? Okay, that was a quick DC. That wasn't too bad. Nicholas R, you just missed me putting his stuff in a bag. Not too crazy. <laughs> Nicholas R is up next. He says one temporal forces. And again, sorry for the lag. I am working on fixing it. Tomorrow I got the tech coming out. And Tuesday I'm getting Verizon Fios installed or wired up. Nicholas has come on, Ghastly. And we got Gorging Fire. The banana ante. Audio skipping. Yeah, just uh, if you're audio skipping, just refresh. Sometimes when we DC like that, it kind of impacts the audio. But if you refresh, hopefully it should fix. I think. Fiber optic. Def has water in it. Um, so I don't have I don't have fiber optics right now. I have like a coax cable, like regular coax. I think is what it's called. But uh, that was the issue last time. So we had a, trop a tropical storm here and it rained really, really hard. And I think the guy told me after he fixed it that it was because water got into the, the internet line and it was causing latency. So that's probably what it is again if I had to bet. But they're coming out tomorrow. Let's we'll see. Nicholas Saul. I might have one over here. Oh, you do. Doesn't mean line outside doesn't. No, no, that's what I'm thinking. Right. I'm thinking that the, my house wire doesn't have water in it. I think the wire outside that connects to your house is what has it, I think. Steve says for the slab bag gauntlet, picking up two spots, Steve X. Yo, Steve, thanks for grabbing two spots, man. Yo, it could be. I got to remember to feed Trump and he might be chomping on the wires. 
Trevor, it's just two spots in the slab bag, five and ten. Alrighty. Oh, wow. There, it looks like there's a lot of people in this for this gauntlet right now. Holy buggers. I, I think we're going to probably just open up the the pack for the member. Chi with two stuff. Two slab bag gauntlets. Seven. Oh, my God. This is almost done. And 11. Chi, thanks for having two spots. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you, Trump. And a guy gets hungry, I don't blame you. Nicholas G, two spots on the... Damn, son. All right, this is moving at lightning speed. There are four spots left. Whoa. Alex M says, for the slab bag gauntlet and one crimson haze, how much is the TF battle? Uh, the tempor temporal forces battle, Alex, is 24 bucks. Wow. All right, Alex, you are in here too, man. You're on lucky number six. And one crimson haze. Uh, okay, Jamie, you got it. I guess was uh, where they displaced it just had enough water in the ground to cause an issue due to the storm. Yeah, but I mean, the thing is, though, Josh, this happened like a month ago, and my internet was down. Like, our stream was basically undoable for like a week because of the lag, and now it's happening again. So, like, after like a week of bitching at them, complaining about them, having them come out to fix it, you know, I would hope it didn't happen again. You know, first time it rained again in a while, and it's already broken again. So it's like, what the hell? Devin G says, Temporal Forces Battle. Uh, that is the Gauntlet Cloud. Yeah, that's a Gauntlet for two bags. So I think after the Gauntlet, there's six bags left. Awesome. Hey, Devin, thanks for signing up, man, and good luck. Double box battle is getting there. Two, four, six, seven. Yeah, five people left for a double box battle. Jamie, it's a slab gauntlet. Number seven, but that's not available. So you see, he'll take number eight. Jamie. Dope, dude, Jamie, thanks so much. BD says for slab bag gauntlet, BD. Whoa, all right, this is full. Yup, so Grizzy got the last spot. So Grizz, I know you said you wanted eight, but 12 is all I have left. So Grizz, you got us full on that, holy buggers. Eric S also says, let me get four OP07. Eric S. Oh cool, that's gonna finish off that box. We can fish against that new case. Are uh, you changing internet providers? I am changing internet providers, yes. Just because I rather have fiber, and honestly, dude, you know, if my stream's gonna be impacted for like, this, especially because, dude, they're like a hard company to talk to. Like, you call them on the phone, and they're like, yeah, we can't really do much. We'll send out a tech. Which, I, I mean, I guess, you know, kudos to that, right? What can you really do over the phone? Not much, but it's just getting annoying, you know? Livy. Hello, Ben. And Foxy. Is the queue back up? Uh, so the queue should not be broken. It's just a different link now. So I'll sh here, maybe I'll show you guys real quick before I pick the winners. Okay, so uh, if I show you guys this real quick, then we'll pick the winners. Uh, in the in the in the description, there's a link. It's called Q. You click that now, it brings you to the website. So I've been working on a website for a while. It's still not done. So you know, keep that in mind. It is still not done. It's still a work in progress. But this is kind of what it looks like. And uh, if you go here now, so it's gonna link you to the website. All you gotta do is click this button here, Q, and that will bring you to the Q. So you can see Miles is in the queue. So it is working. We got one order in the queue. Uh, but now instead of a direct link, it just brings you to the website. Then you click queue and then you'll be there. 
And I guess while I got the website open up, uh, here you can go to Seal Products, and here is the 151 reprint uh, pre-orders that was shipping out sealed to you guys if you pick it up uh, at the end of April, end of this month. I think April 20th is the expected ship date, so not too far from now, actually. Uh, but yeah, so you just click that, it brings you to the website, and then you click Q, and then it brings you to the queue now. Because I'm going to try to get it to be hosted off our website rather than the other website, because why not? Now they have a website, make it hosted there, you know? Okay, let us pick the winners for the slab bags. So that is only out of 12. Let's refresh the page. Let's also do this. Make sure we're not lagging. Yep, we're good. All right, I know it's smaller, but we're still going to do it this way. That way I can make sure we're not DCing while we do this. All right, bag number one. Three, two, one. This is bag number one. Uh, you, know, you know, Brian, maybe in the future for sure, man. Yeah, maybe in the future for sure. Number two. Number two. Nice. All right, so number two is Steve. All right, Steve. There you go, baby. So, Steve, you won the first slab bag. I'll ask you to pick me a number one to eight. That is what's left, one to eight. Now we'll pick our second winner. Or, you know, while Steve gives me a number, we can select our second winner. So, Steve, you are the first person to win. Number two does stay in the second picking. So you could, you know, I've seen it before. You could theoretically win again on number two. Steve's is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dude, it really did. Yeah, that really did fill up fast. Um, so if you guys want to make another one for two more, we definitely could. Because I would love to get these bags sold out tonight. That way people who bought them last night can actually get them, can see them today. Because we are live again tomorrow, but it'd be nice for them to get it open tonight. Okay, let's refresh the page. And this is for our second and last winner from this list. Three. Oops. Th what the heck? Oh, okay. We're going to go with this one. This one's going to count. <laughs> I misclicked the shuffle button. This is going to count. At least we refreshed the page. That's good enough. Oh, goes right past number two. Hey, Andrew. What's up, brother? That is going to be lucky number six. Who's on number six? That is Alex M. Nice. Okay, so Alex, I'll have you choose a number now out of seven. Alex, I'm picking up the second and final slab bag from that list. And I guess it was pretty popular, so I'll print out another one. Why not? But Alex, if you're here, please do pick a number and that'll be your bag. Number six. Okay, dude, you guys have the same idea. All right. Okay, so I got a new list started up for those who might want to join that. And Alex is number six. You got it. Speaking of six, there are only six bags left now. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Dope. All righty, so six slab bags left. Of course, if you do want to just pick one up straight up, you can. But we will do another gauntlet for two more. I think it needs to be a gauntlet for one of them. I don't like the odds of 12. Six is better. Well, I'm not I'm not a statistician, but if I'm not mistaken, I think your odds are the exact same because in theory, there's, it's two out of 12, right? Because you have two spins. So two out of 12 reduces down to one out of six. So I think it's the same, honestly. And that way it's nice because we can just kind of do them both at the same time rather than, you know, pulling up the wheel every so often. Miles is up next. He says, let me get eight of the Disney 100, one Fusion, one Brilliant, one Lost, and one Chilling Rain. Holy freaking buckets. Okay, Miles, I'm liking this, bro. We got a little poopoo -poo platter coming up. Miles. Yeah, that's okay, Trev. That's fine, man. I just think it's a good way to do it, personally. So one Fusion, one Brilliant, 
one lost, and one chili chili rain. Can you still do these cards? Yeah, sure. I'll oh, sure thing. Eight of the Disney. What are the odds you pull another steamboat? I hope we do. That'd be pretty dope. Only pulled one steamboat so far. Two, four, six, seven. Let's get you a fresh box as well. Serious question. Will the one be? You know, that's a good question, Grizz. I, I venture to say that the best bet is probably just looking up on Google, you know, like on eBay, seeing if any sold, any listed, mark it down and stuff. Because there's probably a one on one for every card, right? Every character. But there are definitely going to be quite a few people that have one and, you know, don't have a lister or something. So for those, I guess you'll never know. Remember when you used to write all the numbers out? I do. Yeah. I mean, that's life, right? You, you do something, you progress, and hopefully you only get better at it, right? Hopefully you only improve. I think that Mickey Mouse card was one of the craziest pulls we got. And then for Jen, we got that double auto. The Mickey Minnie Mouse double auto. That was crazy dope, too. That was really dope. So we got Frozen for the box top of Foya. Yep, cards to go ham on the poopoo -poo platters. The poopoo -poo platters are just tough, though, because it's a lot harder to, you know, like snipe a big hit with just one pack from the set. But it's doable. I mean, you could snipe multiple sets if you're really lucky. Alrighty, Miles. Here we go, baby. Oh, okay. That's Zootopia, I think. Zootopia. If a big one hasn't been pulled, yeah, for sure. And I guess also vice versa too, right? If all the all the big 101s get pulled, then probably gonna go down. But man, those products are just crazy, dude. A thousand dollars for a box. I mean, I guess I, you know, vintage stuff definitely goes for more than that, but like those are brand spanking new. It's kind of nuts. Howdy, folks. Did he snipe a Zard? Uh, no, Carter sniped a, a Zard from base set that graded a PSA 10. That might have been like almost a month ago now. $12,000 card just casually coming back from PSA. They upcharged the hell out of it, though. Paid $500 to get that card graded into 10. Nuts. Donald Duck. Yup, and it's only 18 packs, dude. I know. <laughs> I know. It's crazy. Hey, Andrew. What's up, man? All right. So, Miles, that was the Pixar. We'll send you all the hits with it, too. Or, sorry, the Disney. And can we snipe you an ult art? Vile Plume. fellow Andrew <laughs> wheezing wheezing sent the score dude I was randomly watching a, a gameplay yesterday a walkthrough of someone playing um, Pokemon Gale of Darkness that is like one of the few Pokemon games that I never played I had a GameCube growing up I just never ended up getting that game I don't know why but I watched someone playing that, and it kind of got me thinking. I might want to, like, I don't know, get an emulator and play it. Miles. Yo, Miles. Dude, thanks so much for your that, Miles. Dude, I, I think I would probably say GameCube was, like, the best. I mean, ugh, it's tough. Like, N64 was really, really nice. N64 was actually a really great system, too. But GameCube just had so many good games, bro. Smash Bros, Coliseum, or not Coliseum, uh, Double Dash. So, it was good. 
Alrighty, we're also at the two hour mark on the stream tonight, which means as promised, we are gonna do our members giveaway. So, one lucky member tonight is gonna be getting an EX Emerald Pack out of this baggie. I'll let, if they're here, I'll let you choose. If they're not, we'll let the chat choose. But I think because EX Emerald, even if you don't get a hollow or an EX, always has a nice reverse, we'll probably just open it. It's free anyway, so we'll open it for whoever wins it. So, I am going to link you guys to the thing one last time. That way, if you really haven't signed up yet, you have like five minutes to quickly sign up. But all you have to do is go to the community tab on my YouTube page. I'm going to post it here in the chat. Go to the post that's talking about the members giveaway. Fill out the Google form with your YouTube name, your email, and you are signed up. That's it. So YouTube name, email, you're signed up. You don't have to be here to win. So I'm sure some people who signed up might not be here tonight. They are still eligible to win. Yo, Benjamin! Welcome to the round table, Ben. Thanks so much for coming to member tonight, Ben. And good luck. Go sign up for a real quick as well. We'll wait for you. Good luck. So link is posted there. If you're a member, go sign up. I mean, at this point, it's free to enter. So you might as well do it. No point not to do it. And I'm going to pull up the Google Forms and grab all the names. Theo with the five says, hi, I'm new. <laughs> yeah, you're five months new. But Theo, thanks so much for that, bro. I appreciate you. Five months as a member. Okay, so we have a total of 214 people, which is actually less than the amount of members we have, so... Okay, we got some new people signing up. All right, I see it. Oh, we got a help. We got like four new people just now. Alrighty, guys. I'm closing it in like 30 seconds. So now that I've talked about it, I'll give you guys like 30 more seconds to sign up, and then we're going to close it, all right? So Abby was up next, and he wants spot eight on the next slab gauntlet. So when you say that, Abby, I'm pretty sure you're talking about the slab bags. So Abby for the slabby bags is number eight. 30 more seconds to sign up. Before we pick the giveaway, 30 more seconds to sign up. Jamie, it's a slab gauntlet number five, if not next spot. Jamie. And I'm pretty much assuming these are all for the slab bags. If you do mean like the Steelix slab, let me know. Okay, guys. 15 more seconds. Kevin E says number seven for the slab bag. Kevin E. It's rigged. Grizzy says number eight. Ah, okay. So Grizz, let me know if you want to pick a different number, all right? Vincent Fossil. What's up? Uh, Nick, the fossil already finished. So the heavy fossil's already gone. Winner already picked. Okay, sounds good, Grizzy. Got it. Number 12. All righty. I think I bought enough time for the people who have not signed up yet to get their names in the hat. Let me go grab the list. Let me turn off accepting new responses. I'm going to grab the list and let's do it. Oh, one more person just snuck in before I closed. Who was it? Who just snuck in? Dan! Dan, you just snuck in, dude. There you go. All right, so we got 220 members on the board. Let's grab this wheel. Put it in there. Let's refresh. Alrighty, guys. This person picks up an EX Emerald Pack for the members giveaway from last month. So there'll still be one this month. This is from last month. And three, two, one. Such a small wheel. Let's see. I'm feeling lucky. I just got a jury duty summons. I hated that. Linda, you like it? Maybe you like it. You know, some people might enjoy going and like seeing, you know, it's like a real life Judge Judy, you know, you're Judge Judy, but you're the audience. All right. That is going to be Justin. Okay. So just Justin. Well, <laughs> all right. So give me a second. Give me a second. Let me go to the Google form and just look up to see how many Justins there might be. And then let me, let me, uh, find their email give me one sec okay so there's 10 justins 
This is probably Justin C by the looks of it. Yep, it is. Okay. So this is going to be Justin Kurt. Justin Kurt. So Justin C was the winner for this. Now, I think Justin actually does have a bag in those ships, though. He does. So I'm going to ask the question, though. Justin C, you won the members giveaway. Are you in the house? If you're in the house, we'll let you choose a number one to six. If you're not in the house, we'll let someone else in the chat pick on your half. We're going to open it tonight, too. So Justin C, if you are here, we'll do like a little roll call for you in case you're here. If not, we'll open it for you on behalf of someone picking a number for you in the chat. BD Kick says another slab gauntlet, number three. BD Kick. Just show up when you sign it. Right, Cleo the cat, when they speak to you, hold up a sign. This is identified as a cat, the meow. <laughs> Where's that from? All right, so Timothy said number five. Let's go with number five. This is for Justin C from the members giveaway. So one, two, three, four, and five is going to be a Kyogre. I think I'll get out of jury duty with my broken foot. Definitely try. Yeah, I don't like jury duty. The one time I got it was back when I was in college. They sent the jury duty to my mailbox at my dorm at college, which I never checked. When I was leaving college uh, the first year and I was checking out, they were like, make sure you guys check your mailbox. Don't leave any mail in the mailbox. And for the first time at the end of the year, I went down to the mailbox and had so much random like advertisement mail. And I also had a jury duty summons that I never went to because <laughs> I never knew I had it. I never knew I had it. All right, this is for Justin C. This is an EX Emerald Pack from the members giveaway. I want to say, I think the, I want to say, I think the trick is two. Two to the back. So congrats to the homie Justin. Thank you all for being members. It helps out a lot, of course, and happy to be able to give back when I can uh, via the giveaways. And you all know, EX Emerald ain't cheap. This is a pretty solid set. And hopefully we get you a pretty solid pull. I think it's two. Pokenav. Wasn't there a YouTuber at one point that used to be called Pokenav? Pokenav. Lynette's Net Search. Talo. Larvitar. Makuhita. Gulpin. Ruts. Oh, okay. This is actually kind of dope. That is going to be the reverse hollow energy. It has a swirl on it too. Okay, I'm digging that. I was expecting a reverse, uh, reverse stamp. But we'll take that. And the rare is a non-hollow. Okay, we'll take it though. I'm not too upset by the energy. I see two swirls on it. Manetri. Hey, Zonzon. Ah, uh, yes. It's going to be a double battle. I think there's like five spots at the moment for the double battle. Not too shabby. That's going over to Justin C. Winning last month's... Yeah, there's two swirls. One there and one down there. That is not bad. I was expecting a reverse stamp, but hell yeah, on the energy. Look at these unpatriotic people not going to jury. Blast me. You must now be restrained and go take back a planet. I never got in trouble, though, for it, man. The government never, like, followed up with me or anything. I just never went. And, yeah, I don't know. I was worried about it, too, but nothing ever happened. I just never did nothing, and to this day, I'm still here. They didn't come get me. They didn't come take me. So I think it's all right. If I got a court summons nowadays, though, I guess I would have to go because I'd get it right in my house. John B is up next. He says four Korean EV heroes, two of the Star Wars Galaxy, and then also my shipping. John B. 
I went and didn't get picked? That's not bad. I mean, it's a waste of time, but at least you don't have to actually go to jury, right? That's nice. I know, I can't remember exactly, but I remember, like, there's certain things you can say, like, if you're, like, have a biased opinion, like, if you know the people, or if you've been in a situation similar to their situation, you can kind of get opted out, which, you know, I, I would probably do. Alright, so that's going to be 22 bucks, I believe, shipping paid. And I think some of the small bounties like this, I think you should be all set with it. I know, right? Now they're going to come get me, dude! School's more important? Exactly, right. So, I mean, I was a college student, so if they're gonna come get me, I'd be like, bro, I had lecture, what do you want me to do? Probably let you off the hook. The one time, the one time I got a speeding ticket, I went to, I went to uh, court to fight it, and luckily the judge at the meeting or at the hearing had a daughter that went to my college. So when he, like, asked me, like, what do I do? I'm like, I'm a student, I go to MCPHS. He was like, oh, my daughter goes there. And I was like, oh, yeah, I think I know your daughter. And he let me off the hook ASAP. <laughs> He's like, you seem like a nice man. You seem like a nice boy. And then he let me off the hook ASAP after I, I said I might know his daughter. So that was probably one of the, and that's actually really the only court hearing I've been to. But that was, like, probably the easiest thing I've ever, ever, ever done. I walked in, wore a nice suit, shirt and tie, some nice dress pants. And he was like, you look like a nice, you look like a nice guy. Let me off the hook ASAP. Arrange for a six-day trial? Yikes! <laughs> All right. Yeah, uh, Linda, I try to hop out of that, man. Just tell the court you're a huge racist. Yeah, facts. They would, actually. Okay. Just putting my headset on charger there real quick. This is for the homie, John B. I've run jury selection. It's crazy trying to organize 100 plus folks. Yeah, I could imagine it, Kelly. Yeah, I could imagine it for sure. Plus, a lot of people, you know, don't even want to be there. Elder Gals. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, like I said, some people might enjoy it though, right? Some people really like drama. They like juice. So some people might really like want to go to it. They're like, oh, I'd love to hear the tea about it. I asked, how would a Domino's delivery guy at a McDonald's fry girl know if he's a murderer? Are they qualified somehow? And they said I could go home. Wait, really? I mean, it makes sense though, right? Like if you're in a, if you're in a court and you're, people are trying to help decide you on your court case, you kind of want people of like all sorts of backgrounds because then you kind of get unbiased opinions if you have a big enough group of different individuals. Who here was lucky enough their parents bought them strews from Payless? Dude, Skechers, bro. 100%. Yeah. I never, I was never really a shoe guy, even like as a kid. I was never really into like really nice shoes. Only thing that I begged for when I was younger was Heelys. I was like, Mom, I gotta have Heelys, please. You can't tell them you're a racist? You have to register as a racist offender. One one time, didn't even get called for questions and was let go. I felt like, I felt left out though. Why make me go? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, waste of time, but at least you save time on the back end, not having to go back, right? Tuscan Raiders. Oh. And, oh, that's actually pretty dope. That is going to be a, I believe that's a cracked dice. 102 out of 150. That is Star Wars Return of the Jedi poster. Nice. I need more top loaders. Okay, we got some more top loaders after that. I would love to hear some, Kelly. If you want to type out a story, I'd love to hear it. John B. I'll probably be the only tan person. <laughs> no reverse racist. Yeah, if you're Caucasian, you, you I guess you, you have, you know, you're by default racist, I guess.
That's sick. Hey, what's up, Smooze? Yeah, that's the uh, Star Wars Galaxy 2023. So I guess uh, apparently they're going to probably make a new one for this year if I had to bet, right? So we might even see a new one. And we'll definitely stock it if they do come with a new one for this year's. I remember when Heelys were so, so popular and uh, my school banned them. So you were not, you were, you were allowed to wear the Heelys. You just couldn't put the wheels on them. So everyone would bring the wheels like in their backpack. And as soon as school was done, they'd all put it on and like start healing outside the school. I don't remember that. A couple kids got hurt too, apparently. So they were like, yeah, it's a safety reason. We got to make sure you guys don't have Heelys. Kevin H says for the slab bag gauntlet. Alrighty, Kevin, you are on number one. Yo, Ash, what's up, dude? I might be addicted to Jack in the Box double bit. Dude, Trumpet, I've never had Jack in the Box. Okay, so Chi is up next. Chi said number eight. Chi, eight is gone. If you want to pick a new one, let me know, all right, Chi? But eight is gone, so Abby, I guess everyone wanted eight. Grizzy wanted it. Abby wanted it. Chi wanted it. John says for one slab bag. Whoa. Alrighty, so John, there are six slab bags left. Let me know if you want to pick a number one to six. John S. And she says number nine. And also, John, just so you don't, don't forget, I do have a $70 credit for you as well from last stream. So, John, I do still have a credit. Don't forget that, too. You do have a credit as well. I, yeah, I bet you the Healy's probably leaving marks on the floor. You're drifting too hard. You leave some skid marks on the floor, probably. Bro, addicted to Five Guys? but Dude, I like Five Guys, too, man. Yeah, I, I'm a Five Guys enjoyer. <laughs> But I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm a freak though, man. I'll go to Five Guys and get a glizzy. So, John, you are up next. John, let me know what you want for your slab bag. There are six options available. Six. Steve would be up next. Steve says a spot in the slab gauntlet. Alrighty, Steve, you're on number two. Steve's like, I already won one. Why not go for another? Steve. Bill B says one spot on the slab bag gauntlet. Bill B on number four. John says number two. So John, it's gonna be this one right here. Thanks for that, John. Thanks for having a slab bag as well tonight. I had a case with a gang hit that turned into a car chase with a guy ended up into a shootout. Cops hit him in the neck and he survived and got a wicked scar on him. Now I need to know like what was the outcome? Did the guy get in trouble or did the cop somehow like get sued or something? I hope they didn't. I mean if you're doing that kind of stuff I guess there's only one way to kind of take it down right? Especially if you're like driving recklessly you know potentially hurting pedestrians. Eric S says three. OP07. Eric guess. Let us simmer for now. Okay, you got it. You got it. Third time, number two. John, you might be behind. John, you might be behind. You might not be on the live. But I got you. Number two, I got you. Uh, yeah, so Ash, that is a gauntlet. We're going to pick two winners from it, and they get a slab bag. The slab bags are $150, but it's $25 for the gauntlet for the slab bags. I know. <laughs> I think it's going to be a drug case. Well, hopefully it's not that Mary J. Because I feel like those should just be forgiven. You know what I mean? They should just be forgiven at this point. Erica. Hello, event. And the Dawn card. No lawsuit. He was charged with second degree murder for the gang hit. Not sure what ended up happening, sadly. <gasps> Ooh. And a parallel for Stussy. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad he got some time because, you know, 
No one should be out here murdering and getting away with it. Let's be honest. Is legal here? Yeah, so that's the thing though, right, Linda? It's legal state to state, but I don't believe it's legal federally. So I guess it's a question of, you know, does federal law supersede state law? Which I think it does. I think it does. Because I've heard, I've heard stories, apparently, and I don't know if they're true or not, but I've heard stories of, like, dispensaries getting raided by the government. Because on a federal level, it's still not legal, I guess. But I don't know. Uh -uh. I'm, no, I'm no lawyer. I don't know. That was for my homie, Eric Sanson says, let me get a spot in the Temporal Forces battle. And he says, six packs for myself. Okay, Sanson, thanks for signing up. Shrimp Tempura. Am I going to be on tomorrow? I will be. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, so Sanson, thanks for signing up. That is eight people out of 12. Four spots remain. In most cases, it is not at all. Really? Okay, that's good. That, I think that's a good thing, really. Because you should just... I mean, federal law is important, but you should really be more governed by your state legislature, in my opinion. Because that's where you live. Hey, Eric. It's 24. 24 bucks for the Temporal Force battle. It's 12 players and uh, two full boxes. So six packs each. We're roaring moves. Is this live? No, this is pre-recorded, of course. Oh, nice. I think this is still like $10. So that's nice. Iron Crown. There's laws even in legal states, like dispensaries can't buy back from the black market. That makes sense, though. That makes a lot of sense, because, you know, you want that stuff to be, like, tested and all that good stuff. That court stuff is wild. My neighbor is a lawyer, does a lot of murder cases. This last one, he said he got 13,000 pages of discovery to go through and eight pounds of interviews. Yeah, I don't know. It's funny because, dude, I wanted to be a lawyer at one point. Growing up, like when I was really, really young, I wanted to be a scientist. So that was like what I wanted to be. I wanted to be like a scientist, just very vague. I wanted to work in like a lab with, you know, white coat. Like apothecary style basically then at one point like as i got older i was like man i kind of want to be a lawyer because i really like debating and stuff so oh metagross so i was like maybe a lawyer would be nice you know defending debating type of deal but then i became a pharmacist and i guess in a roundabout way i also wear a white coat right so at, at work i wear a white coat <laughs> i wear a lab coat so i got partially there for my childhood dreams sun sun and you know with my pharmacy degree or not a degree doctorate, I could probably, uh, maybe, probably get a place in research too if I still wanted to. Sansa. I'm an ink doctor. I. T -t 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 Today, Junior. <laughs> Go be trumping now. <laughs> Trumpin is being fed with the internet wires. All right, so we lagged right there. Didn't really miss much. I just was talking some nonsense. But Michael P was the next order. And Michael P wants a Japanese royal pack, 10 lost origin, and two random vintage hollows. So, Mike, let me start by saying thanks for the massive order here, man. And let me know if you want to pick a number, one to five, for your vintage royal pack, or Japanese royal pack. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Ten lost origin. And two of the random vintage hollows. So we're going to go boop. This one. And we'll go boop. And this one. Michael P. What's up, y'all? Yo, Chris, what's up, dude? Michael! Mike, dude, thanks so much for the big order, bro. I'm hoping we get... Dude, I don't know if you guys have seen... I choose number one, okay. I don't know if you guys have seen, but the Garatina from Lost... And Lost Origin in general is on a pretty big uptrend right now. So pulling a Garatina would be fan flippin fan flippin 
And again, sorry about the lag. I do have it kind of worked out. Tomorrow I'm getting someone to come personally to check it out, and then Tuesday I'm getting a whole new internet service, so that's nice. You should make an option in the menu for feed trumpin. All right, Michael pushing P. Oh, I can already see it. Nice, Mike. That is going to be a tier two tag team all stars. Nice. So I will ask you, Mike, do you want to open that or do you want to mail to you seal? I did put in a full box worth of packs in there, which means one of them should at least have a secret in it. One of the 10 that was put in here. So very nice hit. That is a tier two and we'll take it. Ah, I wish Chris, it went to uh, Justin C and we opened up the pack for him. It was EX Emerald. Solomon. Ooh, all right. Mike is for the people guys. He says we can open it. Nice. Now the cool thing about tag team is not only can you get a God pack, but you can also get the golds. You get the full art secrets and every pack comes with at least a hit. So no, no pack from tag team will never not have at least like a GX in it. Same with the cards. Yeah, sure. You want to look cards from tag team? You sure can. Let's check out. We're going to save this for last. Let's check out the vintage hollows and we'll get into the lost origin. Oh, okay. Typhlosion from Neo Gen. That's actually the one that comes from the uh, premium file binder. And. Oh, Game Boy promo, Black Star promo, Meowth. That's a mouthful. Dude, that's so cute. Yo. Okay, nice hollows there. And then we got Lost Jordan. Spirit Tomb. A feed trumpet's option is hilarious. Dealing with murder, dude's gonna kill him. If you didn't get another guy with undercover. Yeah, I feel like that's a dangerous job, dude. That is definitely a dangerous job. You know what I mean? You're, what's up, Boogie? I put a little Oogie Boogie in it. Cremorant. Yeah, that's right. Electros. You have no idea how happy I am that I own almost full cards with Sword and Shield and all the alt arts are out of the way. Just need a couple full arts. Oh, 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 here we go. Mike. 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 Bro, can this be the Tina? Come on, baby. Garretina, show me. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. It was close, kind of. We got a full art electrode. Electrode. Yo, thanks by the way. I got my headset charging, so I'm not hearing the music. Turn it back on for you guys. Tease. Ah, you're teasing me. Naughty, naughty. Naughty, naughty. Spirit tomb. Blue ball by the ball Pokemon. Oh, we got another spirit team. Okay, and a Zoroark. I need to do the Koro Koro Muse. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a really nice card. Even if even in a low grade, those go for a ton. Come on, Tina. I'm not giving up hope. Chandelure. From the Chandelure. How do you get the music to play in your headphones, but not your mic? I'm still new. Oh, and an Eternatus. Not bad, actually. Yeah, for Lost Origin, I'll take it. That was not too bad, actually. Got a lot of hits in there. Uh, so, Carl, I'm assuming you're using OBS to stream. On OBS, I have it set to where you guys hear whatever is playing through my headphones. So, for me, I just make it to be that the computer is playing to my headset, and you guys hear whatever plays in my headset. So that's about it. Whatever you guys 
or whatever I would hear in my headset is what you guys hear on the stream, plus uh, the input from the mic. Okay, Mike, tag team all stars. If we somehow manage to pull you a god pack, that would be nuts. Probably thousands of dollars, honestly, in value in a god pack with this set nowadays. So, Mike, we're gonna keep all the cards for you, of course, and we're gonna try to keep you this pack art. I cut it kind of a little bit, little, little bit little on the back, so you keep you the pack art too. Kangas car. Ooh, nice Vaporeon in there. Diglett. Recycle Energy, Whimsicott, Welder. Oh, I think that Mew is originally from Unbroken Bonds. Kyrum. Oh, Zorora GX. A Secret Rare Steel Energy. And another secret? It's, oh, Victini. Victini. Nice. So actually, we did actually get you a secret, although we did get you the secret rare energy, which does come one per box as well, so those are pretty cool. Or should I say metal? OBS is fab. Use OBS too, Linda, for DJ. So there's OBS and there's Streamlabs OBS. I personally use Streamlabs OBS just because it has a little bit better integrations in my opinion, but even if we're using regular OBS, should also work too. Michael P. And again, Mike, thanks for your order, bro. Congrats again on the tier two right there. When I live stream, dope. So are you just live streaming like DJing stuff, Lynn, or you do something else? Other types of live streams. Jamie, so sign me up for the slab bag. Damn, all right, Jamie, you got another spot in here. So Jamie, we're just gonna bump you down. I also have six included with you as well then. Five and six, Jamie. Sun fan, so slab gauntlet. Okay, cool, Sun fan. I'm assuming you're talking about for the slab bags. Sun to the fan on number 10. Ashley, it's a slab gone. Damn, it's full. Oh my lord. This is the second one full tonight, guys. Whoa. No, honestly, deeply appreciate it, Mike. Without you guys ordering stuff, we'd have no stream, right? So I deeply appreciate it, man. Thank you so much for the order. Spinning vinyl? Dude, Linda, I gotta check out your stuff. I like, I like, I, what kind? So, Linda, when you say you're a DJ, what kind of music do you DJ? What kind of music do you play? I'm assuming electric, right? Like electro, EDM. House, techno, deep house. Okay, so let's cop this on the screen. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so we're gonna keep it short. That way I can still see the. Make sure we're not lagging during it. But three. Two, one. This is for the first slab bag. Hydrogen and helium lithium. Brilliant carbon everywhere. Nitrogen all through the air. You can break fluorine. Okay. Number. I was on my dead mouth kick. Dead mouth five. Is that how you say it? Dead mouth or is this supposed to be dead mouth? Number 11, number 11, that's Ashley. Oh shoot, okay. I should do more now that I can't do much. Techno slash house, hell yeah. Okay, no one is. Is it on your channel like right now, the one you're talking on? So Ashley, you pick up the first bag. Let me know a number one to five. Ashley be a number one to five. Let's also pick the second winner. So we're gonna get that back up on the screen. Refresh it. Three, two, one. All right, so Ashley on 11, snagging the first one. And if 11 hits again, you never know. Ashley says number four. It's gonna be this bag right here. Number two, no way. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. Number two is Steve. Bro, Steve is cooking, dude. Steve with the back to back on both lists. Wow. Okay, Steve, a number one to four. Steve, hell to the yeah. On Twitch and Instagram. Damn, well, I, I kind of want to check it out one day. Maybe I'll ask you for a link. Four. Because I've been on my I've been on my electric music kick and I listen to a lot of like just mixes. I always put on like hour long mixes in the Disney thing. Steve is banned for the next one. Okay, so Steve said he'll take number four. It's his bottom one. Okay. So What do you guys think? Should we do another gauntlet? There's only three left. Should we do another gauntlet for two of them or not? What do you guys think? <laughs> Steve, so that's my fourth bag. Two, three. Oh my God, Steve. You got almost a third of these, dude. I say one more. Sunfence is do it for all three. Wow. Um, okay, let me start by asking this. Is anybody in the chat tonight interested in picking up a slab bag? There's only three left. If anybody is interested in just buying one first, let me know. That way you can definitely reserve one for you. If not, we'll probably just do all three. That way we can finish it up. So let me know if, you guys, if anyone in the chat's feeling like they're risky enough to pick one up completely. Eric B. So sign me up for the TF battle. Eric, that's not enough. I sent for a couple spots a few minutes ago. Okay, yes, Nathan, you're up right now. Yep. How much is the dollar for the slab? 25 for a spot. It's like other ones. Okay, so let me take a look. I don't think anyone said they want the last one. So what we'll do is we'll make one final gauntlet. That'll be the last of the three slab bags. So 150 times three divided by 25 would be 18 spots. Okay. So Nathan, you're up next. And I think you want in on these. Are you cool with hopping in for the three? But 18 spots is what it is. And there'll be three winners this time. And that'll be the last three bags. Oh, it's a PF. Uh, what's up, heck? It's not PF. It's Temporal Forces, and it's 24 bucks. So, yeah, sorry if that looks like a P. Uh, but that's a double Temporal Forces uh, battle. What's up, Alex? Yes, we already picked the members giveaway. Yep. Okay, so no slab bags available. The last three are going to be reserved for this final gauntlet. It's got 18 spots with three winners. And this is the last one for it, too. Yeah, name still is on the wheel. Yeah, number always stays. Yep. Um, so, Nathan, it's a slab bag spot. So, Nathan, I'm, this order is just for one. I know you said to split it, but this name is just for one. Are you cool with this one? If so, I'll just put you on number one for the new one. Oh my god, Sunfan picked up five spots for this? Okay. Oh wait, okay, I see. Nathan, I see you have another order coming up. Got it, okay. So, Nathan, we'll just put you on number one, and then when your next order comes up, we'll split you up a little bit more, okay? I see what you're talking about. Nathan G. Sanson. So let me get six more. TF Changs. Sanson. Two, four, six. Come on, baby. Let's make sure we're not a lagarito in. Looks good. But let me know in the chat. What are you guys? What are you guys up to? Any new stuff going on? Any new news? Yo, Jacob, sending in the waifu emojis with 34 months. Jacob, hell yeah, dude. Appreciate that, man. Thanks a lot. Really coolie. 
It's tough. Alex, it is tougher, bro. SIRs now are like one in every like two-ish boxes. We got the Hero's Cape. I feel like I haven't really heard much news about like new movies and stuff too. Like what the hell's even coming out? Oh, and we got the full art Morty. So I was okay for a minute. Yep, Nathan, you're all set. So you had one for one spot that already happened. I think your order is next to the two spots. So for those ones, Nathan, I'll just try to make sure like all three of your spots are like kind of spread out a little bit instead of clumped. For alligator. Anyone see Monkey Man? Is that a movie? Monkey Man. Son to the saw. Yeah, dude, I don't know if you guys heard that. My stomach just growled. <laughs> I got tickets for tomorrow. Oh, damn. Okay. Maybe I should take a look real quick. Monkey Man, huh? Because I'm a monkey man. Kind of reminds me of uh, Curious George. Whoa, what the hell is this, dude? Bro, what is this? Look at that. <laughs> okay, this actually like low key kind of seems like it'd be. Whoa, bro, what are these racist freaking things we're seeing here? He's the monkey man. This guy, Dave Patel, he's the monkey man. Yeah, like an Indian John Wick, dude. I know, kind of looks like me, bro. What the hell? Yo, is this is this me? Is this me? Koki says spot five for the slab goblet and three OP05. Koki, awesome. And Koki, I believe you're talking about the slab bag, right, Koki? Number five. Three OP05. I've seen the trailer, man. Um, it, it does seem pretty good. I might want to watch it then. I, I don't know. I feel like I need to I need to watch a movie. It's been a while since so like sat down, had like a nice popcorn or something, and watched a movie. It's been a it's been a minute. Koki. Oh, almost dropped that whole box over. You didn't tell us your favorite movie star. Yeah, some things I gotta keep secret, man. I can't let you guys know that I'm in the movies. Then people are gonna want my autograph, and you know. Favorite food? Probably Indian food, man. I like a lot of foods. I love Indian, Italian, Mexican, Korean, Chinese. I mean, I eat all sorts of foods, but I would say for sure Indian food has just got to be like that comfort food for me, man. Some naan, some rice, some chicken tikka masala, and it's just like, mm, mm, mm. Like, I could probably eat that like all day, straight up. It's just so good. Oh, wow, this website's pretty nice. What's up, John? John, you saw the old one too, right, John? You saw the one that I had last time, right? If you saw the last one, John, let me know. What do you think? Way better or, like, way worse? It's also not complete, by the way. I'm still working on it, but... But, yeah, so you guys may or may not seen, but I did post some Japanese 151 reprint pre-orders. So if anyone is looking to get some 151, they are available on the website. It's first link in the description. And if you use the code free ship, you get free shipping on your first order. Cookie. I had butter chicken for the first time. Nice. So butter chicken's good, man, but you gotta try chicken tikka. That is gonna be even better. So butter chicken's good, but try the chicken tikka masala. Nathan, two more spots. All right, so Nathan, we'll put you on 10. Get you all the way down here. And then we'll put you on 14. Nathan, I hope this is good. We'll get you a nice little spread here. And thanks for signing up as well for these. Nathan, you got three spots now officially on that last slab goblet. Abby says this time, spot eight. All right, Abby, you got it. Dude, there's a lot of people in the queue. This might be full, guys. Dude, I think this might be full in the queue. Holy buggets. Yash says two spots for the gauntlet. Number five, number ten. They're both taken. <laughs> All right, Yash, they're both taken. Yo, I've heard of Shogun. I haven't watched it yet, but I think I might. I think I might. 
I seen your previous site like thank you Nathan yeah I think it's a lot better it took me a little more time to put it together but I think it's nicer let's do 11 and 7 you got it yeah yeah, so I'm still contemplating if I want to make the stream through website only or if I want to just keep the website for ship seal products. So we'll see. As I get more and more used to the website and like kind of see how it works, I'll, I'll be able to kind of make my final decision at that point. Alex M, 12 and 9. Okay, they're actually both available. All right, this is full in the queue for sure. Oh my God. Bro. There might be, this might be oversold actually. Holy crap, you guys went nuts for this last one. What's the coupon code? The coupon code is free ship, no spaces, F R E E S H I P. Rick B, he's a slab bag gauntlet. Dude, this is going nuts. Yeah, this is full 100%. And that will give you free shipping on your first order through the website. Sunfan says five spots, bruh. All right, so Sunfan, that's one, two, three, four, and five. Whew. Cheese, a slab bag number three. Okay, so Chief, three's long, long gone. I'll put you on 16. Hopefully that's okay. Oh my God. Steve's is two slab bag. Wow. <laughs> Oh my god, it's full, bro. There's definitely still people in the queue. Holy buggies. What's up, Justin? It's uh, where, the, where it says queue. The queue now shows the website. So if you go to the queue tab, it'll show you there. Oh my lord. Hector, Nicholas, Ashley, Bill, Antonio, John, Nick Y again. Bro, there's like seven people in the queue for slab for the gauntlet. Oh my god. Jesus. Okay. So let me start by saying this. This one is full. I have no more slab bags. If you're in the queue, let me know if you guys have anything else you might decide that you want to get. We could make a new third gauntlet too, alright? So let me know if there's something, because there's there's quite a lot of people. I think John in particular has a lot of spots coming up. John, is there anything you'd like to see, John, for a gauntlet? Because you got a lot of spots. Whoa, what? No way. Dexter out of nowhere. All right, dude, Dexter. That is a lot, my guy. Dexter. All right, dude, Dex. Much freaking love, homie. That is 20 gifted, bro. That's 20 gifted. Dude, Dexter, you freaking legend, bro. Dex, I appreciate you, man. Thank you a lot for that. That is a huge amount of gifties, Dex. You're the man for that. God damn, Dex. And the words of the great, holy buckets. My goodness. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's pick the winners. And again, Dex, thanks for that massive, massive, massive amount of gifted, bro. That's a lot. So, Dex, I don't have any times I can say it until I go blue in the head, but I really appreciate you, Dex. Thanks a lot for that, dude. Okay, so let me get this wheel up and let's pick the last three people for these slab bags. And the slab bags are now sold out, which is awesome because that means we get to open it tonight for everyone who bought one yesterday. Uh, yeah, I could do another fossil. Yeah, I sure could. All right, let's refresh the page. First number. Three, two, one. There we go. No way. Dexter, are you serious? Another 10, Dexter? Bro, Dexter, you're really, you're, you're beyond legend status. What's beyond legend? What even is beyond legend? Oh my God, Sunfan. <laughs> nice. All right, Sunfan, you pick up the first one, dude. Nice. 
So, Sunfan, I will need a number from you, one to three. Sunfan picking up the first spot. Yes, Godly's a good one. Godly is a good one. Yes, Godly is a good one. Sunfan says number one. Okay, Sunfan. So guys, we do have quite a few people in the queue for the Slab Gauntlet. It is done. If you have an order coming up for the Slab Bag Gauntlet, let me know what you guys would rather see, okay? Because I would love to put up another gauntlet if you want to join those ones instead. So if you have any ideas and you're in the queue, let me know what you want to see for the next gauntlet and we'll make it happen, okay? Just let me know, if you, especially if you have an order coming up. Okay, let's do our second winner. Three. Two. Make sure we're not lagging. It looks like we're good. Three, two, one. Fossil. Yeah, we could definitely do fossil. You guys want another fossil? If you're in the queue uh, for a golem spot that is now gone, let me know. Do you guys want fossil? Heavy fossil for the next one? That is going to be number 16. Oh, okay. Nice. That's going to go over to Chi. Nice. Alrighty, Chi. There are only two numbers. Only two numbers left. Let's do some slabs from the... Honestly, Jeff, my return wasn't really like anything super crazy. It wasn't like super, super expensive high-end slabs. You ignore... No, Jeff, I ignore you. I just answered you. I'm not trying to ignore anybody. Just keep in mind, you know, there's a lot going on. We're also lagging tonight, so I'm trying to keep my eyes out and make sure we're not lagging. Uh, especially when we're trying to pick a winner, you know? So not trying to ignore anybody. I only got two eyes. Actually, I got four eyes. I wear glasses, so I got four eyes technically, but I'm like an old man. All right, Chi, thanks for that. We got the last one. And... Hey, Sogar, that's tight. We can pre-order with you. Hella cool. What's up? Yes. Yeah, dude. So I've been working on it behind the scenes for a little bit. Finally, not fully done, but the website's good enough now to where I can start letting you guys go to it. So if anyone is looking for the Japanese 151 reprint and you want to pre-order some units, so that way when it comes in, you get first dibs on it, they are available uh, down below on the website. Use code free ship for free shipping on your first order as well. Okay. Last number. Three. Two. Oh, we're lagging. <laughs> okay, good thing is, is we didn't even pick yet, so lag is okay. Alright, because we weren't in the middle of anything too important. Okay, I think we're back. We lagged a little bit there, but I think we're back. Yep. Okay, so we're good to go. Let's pick our third winner. Here we go. This is it, third winner. So hopefully you guys can see what's cooking good looking. That is 15, which is <laughs> no way, dude. <gasps> All right. And Sun Fan winning on 15 and 6. Jesus. Good grat, Sun Fan. That's two spots. All right, so Sunfan, by default, you, my friend, get this last one as well. Nice. Okay, so that is all the slab bags now sold out. Sunfan with two and Chi with one off that list right there. Okay, so let me quickly get this next gauntlet set up. The only person that really spoke up was kind of like Hector, I think, that has an order in the queue and he wants to do Heavy Fossil. Now, keep in mind, they're the same price. So, I am going to say a Heavy Fossil Gauntlet, but we also have Heavy Jungles. So, the winner can pick whichever set they prefer. They're the same price anyways. Fossil or Jungle Guaranteed Heavy. Okay? So, that's going to be the next one I'm going to make. And... If you want to sign up for it, it will be available. Let's quickly print out a sheet. So those are 450 with the money back guarantee. If you don't pull a hollow, you get a full refund. And that means it is going to be, I think, 18 spots. Yep, 18 spots. Actually, same exact number as the slab gauntlet.
Can I get credit for now? Absolutely. Yeah, Nick, absolutely. Okay, cool. So let's just kind of go through. We, the queue is not super long anyways, but let's just kind of go through it. That way we can either get people a credit or put them in a new gauntlet they want. Now, keep in mind, Fossil Heavy, Steelix PSA 10 from Aquapolis is still available. And of course, almost done, another pack for our Neo Revelation box break. We're currently at eight packs out of 36 sold. And that's not too, too many, uh, but we're inching closer and closer as the days go by. So Neo Rev is also available as well. Hector! All right, cool. So Hector, do you want spot 18 for this one? The Fossil Heavy Hector, you're up next. And like I said, winner can choose. A, we're saying Fossil, but you could also pick Jungle if you'd like. Uh, what's up, John? That one was picked already. The winner was Hui. Hui won that, opened his pack, and got a Magneton. So that one went to Hui. Okay, Hector, you got it. Awesome, Hector, thanks so much. Okay, so that was for the homie heck. Uh, then we got Nick. He said slab, but he said take make me a credit instead. So Nick, here we go. Thanks, thanks for trying to join up too, Nick. Appreciate that. That last one filled up super, super fast. And then Nick, I think you have another order coming up for a spot. So I'm just gonna pre bono make you a fifty dollar credit, okay, Nick? Because you got two orders coming up. Yep. So, Nick, you're going to get a $50 credit, okay? I've marked both orders as done, and we're just going to make you a credit, all right? Yep, 25 bucks to enter. Yep, for the white lists. Ashley, it's a slab gauntlet and one slab hitbox. Okay, cool. So, Ash, let me know. Did you want to change your order up to a different gauntlet, or did you want to stick with Fossil, or Neo Rev, or Steelix, or get something else completely differently if you want? Also, here's one slab hitbox if you're ready for that. Fossil and Bray. Okay, hell yeah, Ash. Thanks. Hell yeah. So I should probably also unpin the slab bags as those are now sold out. Bro, Dex. Such a legend though, Dex. Such a flippin' legend, Dex. So thanks again for those 30 gifted, dude. Oofed. Okay, Ashley. And ah, okay, that is gonna be a pump. A pump. So, Bill, Bill B, you are up next. Bill, you wanted two spots in the gauntlet that finished. Bill, if you're here, let me know. Would you like to get something else? Bill B, and again, apologies about it selling. It sold really fast, it was sold so fast, I couldn't even keep up to see it sold out. And then also, Antonio, you're up next. Uh, let me know if you want a stick or a change as well, okay? Antonio, you are next. 17 for Fossil. Okay, cool. So, Bill, you want 17 on Fossil. And you also want 4, right? So, both on Fossil, Bill. 17. And 4. Sounds good, Bill. Thanks so much for joining up. Credit for now. Okay, Antonio, thanks for the fast response there too, man. We're gonna get right into the slab bags. Just gonna try to keep up with the people who need a credit first that way. Oh my God, Steve bought a members giveaway? Steve! All right, bro, Steve. I see that, Steve. That is so kind of you, dude. Sheesh, Steve, man. Steve's like, I had a bunch of good luck. Maybe I should pay it forward, Steve. I appreciate you. Cause you definitely didn't have to do that. And that was really kind of you. So, John, you are up next, John. Let me know if you just want me to increase your credit or if you want to get something else. But, John, you're up next. And John might uh, not be on live still. I'm not sure, so we'll wait a little bit for him. But the next order after John would be Steve. And he said a Unagaba pack to give away to a member. It must be opened. Ooh. All right, so we do have a members giveaway coming up right after I talk to John about his order. And that's going to be one lucky member to pick up a Unagaba promo pack. And luckily, we got lots of gifted from the homie Dex. So we got a lot of new members in tonight. They'll have a chance to pick that up too.
where's the queue uh so for the queue all you got to do is click the link now it brings you to the website and on the website there's a queue button so i know it's like an extra step now but i'm eventually going to be switching it over from that other website to just be directly on the website that i have now so work in progress still but for now you click that and brings you to the website and you click the queue and then it shows you the queue and i'll show you how to do it here real quick too okay john sounds good so john you're gonna have a 150 dollar credit yes preston you did miss it yep uh but you didn't have to be here to win the winner was justin c we opened up his pack and honestly it wasn't a terrible pack we got a nice hollow fighting energy out of the pack for him but you did miss it uh but there will be another one again for this month uh later down the road in a couple weeks for this month too okay let's pick one lucky member on behalf of the homie steve to win this giveaway and then after that we'll probably do the slab bags all right so right after that we'll probably do the slab bags so to sign up for this giveaway for the unagama promo pack you have to be subscribed to the channel make sure you like the stream tonight you gotta be a member and then put a br in the chat put a br in the chat and as long as you've done all those steps your pokemon will appear on the screen giving you a fighting chance to win a really nice unagra pack hopefully an umbreon but if not an umbreon i also like espion a lot too now um christian was asking me about the queue so if you guys don't know the queue used to be that top link in the description and it is now a link directly to the website so if i pull up the website here so if you click that link it's going to bring you to my website here you can see i created it with wordpress and if you go here to queue if you're on your mobile you might have to click the little arrow to see it if you're on your desktop you should just be able to see it on the top bar but if you're on queue you might have to go to more to see it uh, what all you do is click that queue and boom there's the queue right there so one extra step apologies if that's annoying but eventually it's going to be a direct link to it when it's uploaded fully to the website right now it's just a link to the link but eventually it's just going to be a link on the website so just getting kind of prepared for that and also a quick plug if you're looking for some pre-ordered 151 booster boxes to ship to you sealed uh you go to the sealed products tab on the website and you can pick some up if you are looking to pick it up use code free ship for free shipping on your first order in the u.s all righty members we'll give you guys like five more seconds to sign up about five more seconds for our lovely members headshot of trumpin right on the front page yo <laughs> i should i should do i should do a like you know like on some websites they have like a meet the team right they like show you the ceo the next guy the whatever i should have one meet the mods where i have a picture of all the mods koki trumpin brandon brian get all the mods put their pictures on there that would be hilarious if they let me though I'll, I'll, if you guys let me do it for the mods, I need an actual, like, mug shot. I'll put my mug shot up on there, too. Yo, Talia, what's up? Hope the kitties are well. They sure are. Yeah, legs fully healed from months ago, and they're they're living lavishly now. But, Talia, thanks so much for being a member for nine months. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! You have to update Trump in photo every... Dude, I know. <laughs> We'll probably have to make it like a real photo though. You know what I mean? Like a real photo. So Steve, thanks again. Shout out to you again for that really kind donation, man. That's a whole Unagra pack, $25 pack right there. Speaking of which, I should probably also put Unagwas on the website too. Why not? Oh, no, they're not. Yeah, they still don't get along. The little one will jump on my older cat, and she hates it. So, like, she'll, like, attack. Not, like, attack or attack her, but she'll, like, jump on her to play, and she just does not like it. So, they're still not friends, but oh. some things will never change, I guess. I just PayPal direct 15, 55 for 15 One Piece. 
Kingdom of Intrigue and for shipping. Okay, all right, awesome. Hey, Tree, thanks for the order, man. Ooh, Ron the Dawn. Ron the Dawn picking up the Unagaba. Okay, Ron. Congrats on the win. Can we get you an Umbreon now? We are almost sold out of these, by the way. Yo, yo, Meek, I thought that too, but my, I've had my cats now for like six months. Or the younger one I've had at least for six months now, so... Okay, Ron. Oh my God, are we lagging? No, I think we're good. I think we're good. <laughs> I got, I got PTSD. Your explore shop button on page. Yup, Linda. Thanks. Yeah, like I said, still, still work in progress. I just wanted to make sure at least the checkout was working. So all that kind of stuff, I'm gonna try to like fix over the next couple weeks, slowly but surely. Ooh, okay, Ron. I'm liking that. That is going to be Glaceon from the Unagaba promos. Glaceon. Mine still fight over the couch. Oh, okay. Well, hey, how long you guys had the cats? To the window. To the walls. To the walls. How do I jump a Pokemon? There's actually a link at the bottom. It says Battle Royale. And uh, that link should get you to the... What's it called? to the page where you can change your avatars. I don't know if you saw your comment, Christian. Let me scroll up. Sorry, can we open the heavier my boundaries cross from my back? Oh, shoot. Yeah. Um, Christian, let's... Uh, we'll do it first. Then we'll do, we'll do you, Christian, and we'll do the slab bags, right? Just because this would be a quicker thing. Okay, they're both Keldeos, too. Okay, so we're going to open one of these packs to the homie Christian. Then we're going to get into the slab bags. Okay, so let me just reweigh these for you. Thanks, Zucker. Not trying to skip. Yeah, no problem, Christian. Like I said, sorry. I'm, I'm like looking at so many things tonight because I have my stream open that I'm like kind of keeping an eye on to make sure we're not lagging. Because if we do end up lagging, I got to like freeze, stop in place so we don't miss anything. 1960. I can't wait for the Verizon, man. I can't wait. And 1964. Okay, so this one weighs a, like a tad bit more. So if you want to open it, Christian, that'd be the one I'd say. When will the PSA submission arrive? Um, not sure for sure, but it should probably only be like a couple weeks. So I have not checked the PSA website uh, as of late, unfortunately. Sorry about that. But I'll try to update the the PSA spreadsheet with the most up-to-date info. Eight years and they still fight? All right, that gives me hope. <laughs> that gives me hope, I guess. All righty. But yeah, we sent out that sub at the start of the month, so it's only been a couple days, Hector. So I'd say, you know, give it like at least another week or two. Just got milled out a couple days ago. All right, Christian, this is Boundaries Crossed. And he says he wants the reverse Hollow Charizard, but we really know the real chase is the Bianca or the Skyla. Okay, that's gonna be three to the front. Catacos. Golduck. Low Bunny. Submissive and breedable? Question mark. Pat Rat. Shout out to Matt Pat. Speaking of Map Pat, bro, you know how many times people have come into my stream and say I sound like Map Pat over the last four years? Dude, if I had a dollar every time someone said I sound like Map Pat, I'd be a millionaire. Pokeball. Splink. Tangela. And. <gasps> no way. Bro, this looks sick, dude. No way we just banged out a hollow Zard like that. Yo, this is Fuego art. Oh my god, that is some nice art. Dude! Anyone got a price check? Oh, you know, not bad actually. Let me fully sleep it. Not bad actually. Little, little white dot up in that corner. 
maybe like a small white dot at the top. The bottom's looking pretty good. Ooh. <laughs> Six, 800 in the day. chat. Are you being serious? Did you actually look that up, chat? Or are you giving me a Carl price? Nice. All right, dude, Christian. Now I wonder what's in your other pack. Bro, the weights on these have been crazy. So hold on. Remind me, what was that? That was 1963, right? 1963? Is that what that was? I think so. Bro, what? We had a non holo rare in a 1969. <laughs> All right, well. I think that was 63. Well, I'll say this. Uh, these weights have gotten even more ridiculous. <laughs> so, okay. We got a hollow rare in 20, uh, 01, 77, 63, and a non hollow rare in 69. Hmm. So, I'm going to go on a limb. I'm going to go on a limb and say, who knows? Maybe your other pack has something too. This, this might not be a really weighable set. Nice, though, dude. That's huge. Let me also get a timestamp too. Definitely should make that a short. That is sweet. Uh, we are at 313. Okay. Okay, sweet. He says, let's open up the other pack as well. Hell yeah. I am game for that, baby. Shwink. Definitely going to keep you the pack cards from these. Wow, okay, that was sweet. That was really, really nice. The reverse is worth more. Gotcha. Yeah, sometimes it'd be like that. Although, I don't know. Kind of weird. I feel like usually the reverse is kind of awkward, you know? Okay. Time for the second pack, Christian. Chat, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Tell me. This way is about the same as the other one. Do you guys think we're going to get a hollow, a hit, maybe the Skyla, which is, I think, the best pull in the set? These are fresh from a box that I opened myself, by the way. Christian, clean up on aisle 69. Ash says we're going to get a hollow rare. Jeff says hollow. Bill says Skyla. That would be nice. Okay, we got Whirlipede, Minshow, Ugh, look at that, <laughs> is that drool or is that snot, I don't know, Dun Dun Sparse, Makuhita, Krogok, Spinda in like a Vortex, Meow, that's right, Reverse, is a chin chow okay i'm vibing with that chin chow and show me a rare at least a hollow <gasps> we got another hollow and it's superior too that is a starter okay i am not dude i'm not upset by these at all actually hell yeah especially because we assumed these were going to be lights so, I don't know. That box is definitely giving me... <laughs> it's giving me weird vibes, but I'm liking it. The word is moist. I'm so moist right now. Ah, oh, that chin chow. It got me so hot and bothered. That is nice. 420 in a PSA 9? Yeah? <laughs> nice. Dude, Christian, thanks for picking up the packs. And thank you for picking this up as well. For the 151 pre-order, is it Japanese booster box? How much USD? Ah, uh, what's up? It is it is Japanese reprint 151 for the end of this month. Although my website is not shipping other than US. So if you did want some, and I would happily sell it to you, but you'd have to send me a message either through Discord, Instagram, email, all right? Because my website is not enabled for international shipping at the moment. But they're 130 a box, free shipping. Uh, or they're 125 a box, free shipping if you buy a whole case of 12, a sealed case of 12. Damn, that was nice. That was really, really nice. Okay, and I know we're going to do the slab bags after, but I already clicked on the order. This is for Sansan. 
He wants six more temporal forces. Then we'll get into the slab bags. I know you guys have been waiting for those. Also, what was the weight on the second one? I want to write it down too. No, nah, I'm in New York. I'm in, it's in USD. Oh, okay, awesome. Yeah, so it's 130 free shipping a box. You can buy as many as you want, as little as you want, as long as they're still in stock. If it's your first time buying from my website, use the code free ship and I will waive the shipping charge as well. Victini. Can you open my bag first? I need to go. Yeah, Nick, sure. Yeah, no problem with that. We can do your bag first. Sandy shot. Yeah, I think that was right, Ash. Yep, 90.60 and then 0.64, right. We're right on. You know, now, now I'm wondering, Christian, were those first packs, can you remember, were those first packs from that booster box or were they from like the collection boxes we had, those like legendary, uh, those legendary three-pack box? boxes maybe those packs in the front were not from the same box or were they i don't remember have you ever pulled a gold star no i've never pulled a gold star in my life yet they're really tough though mitch the gold stars from back in the day those were only one in every two boxes so essentially one in 72 packs for a gold star from those ex era sets so i've not been lucky enough to pull one but I'm hoping one of these days, hopefully soon, uh, we make it a reality. Son, son! Dude, Temporal Force is kind of tougher than normal, it feels like. Uh, I think the open box has one, but Hector, I do have multiple boxes. So if you want multiple, you're happy to pick up more. But I think there's one left in the open box. Okay! You guys ready? Slab bag time, you guys ready? Okay, so Nick asked to go first. And honestly, the order doesn't really matter anymore, especially because you already have your name on the bag and what's in your bag is not gonna magically change. Alrighty, cool. So Nick, you are first. Uh, there's 20 packs in a booster box of 151, 20 packs. Just keep in mind, if you do buy it through the website, that is not for, like, it right away. Those are pre-orders for the reprint. So the reprint's coming at the end of the month. And those are going to be the reprint units that arrive. I'm getting them on around April 20th. So if you do buy it through the website, you will get it probably shipped towards the end of this month. As soon as I get them in, I'll be mailing those out to people who pre-order it through the website. But keep in mind, that is for a pre-order. So don't expect the tracking to get to you until, you know, end of this month. Yep, 20 packs in the 151. Most sets have 30, but 151 has 20. Alrighty, Nick, you are up first. And I think the way that I did this, we should be seeing the front of it this way. Yep. And we're gonna flip it over. Ooh, okay, Nick, that's a good start. That is a good start, I'd say. And Nick. Oh, PSA 9. Rockets Mewtwo from Dead. That's sick. All right. Can't go wrong with that. That is awesome. PSA 9. Rockets Mewtwo from English Gym Challenge. Beautiful. Nick Y. We'll keep all the slabs here for now. So that way we can kind of see them all at the end. Alex M. Alex, you are up next. Nathan with the three months says, "Being a uh, been a blast being a knight at the round table. <gasps> Alex F and M. <laughs> oh my lord. All right, I hate to say it for the rest of the people in the slab bags, but I think this is the one of the, there are still more expensive ones. But this is probably one of the most expensive slabs in these bags. PSA 10. Charizard VMAX from Champion's Path. Alex M on the second bag. That's awesome. 
There are still more heavy hitters, though, so it's not over there. There are still some more heavy hitters. Nathan G. Nathan G, you're up next. All right, looks like it's English. And, okay, all right. A little bit of a value loss there, Nathan, but not, not too, too much. And it is all a part of the risk. He kind of chubby. Oh, okay, that is really dope. That is a PSA 9 Flygon Delta Species Hollow from Holland Phantoms. So that's a really nice one. Holland Phantoms packs are, I mean, I guess I would say like Deoxys is number one, then Dragon Frontiers because the Charizard, and I'd say like Rocket Returns might be three, and then Holland Phantoms is probably like the fourth best EX in my opinion. Uh, but that's really dope. That is the Flygon Grass Typing Delta Species Hollow. And that is for Nathan G. The coupon code is free ship, no spaces. Free ship, no spaces. All right, son to the fan. Yo, Michael Lopez. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Michael Lopez, I see you, baby. Thanks for the sub. Son fan. This time around, I use little, like, sticky things because my, my saliva is getting weak. <laughs> Gross. Sun fan. Oh my god, Sun fan, bruh. Sun fan. Woo. That is. Oh, okay, nice. Actually, was not expecting that. That is a PSA 10 special delivery Charizard. I remember when these are all the rave too. That's nice. PSA 10 as well. Sun fan, I got your name on the back there. Special delivery Charizard. Alrighty, Steve. Steve, show him how it's done, baby. Oh, we got Japanese coming in at 250. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. This is looking tough. If you are like in the back there, I mean, there still are some big hits, but damn. Damn, some big boys are coming out. If you guys didn't know, these are $150 bags, by the way. So, total combined value of everything does equate to $150 on average, but you know, some people are going to get a little bit less value back than others. This is good. Steve! Oh, I love this, dude. You guys tell me in the chat. You guys tell me. I know there's been a lot of controversy. A lot of people don't like this art. A lot of people really like the art. I am definitely the former. I like this art for the Charizard a lot. That is going over to Steve X. Alright, we work our way back to the homie Sunvan. Let's see if we can do it again. Will lightning strike twice? I think we're I think the 